All right, let's get it underway then. The Long Dark. I thought we'd put this game away until the end of the DLC, and that was the original plan. But I am really unimpressed with the Tales from the Far Territory DLC. I don't think it adds much of value, and on top of that, the progress of the DLC has been glacial. It's meant to go on for one year, and have, uh, what was it, five or six parts to it? Well, it ain't done yet, and it's been well over a year. My patience has grown too thin, so I'm jumping in and doing a run of this game that I've wanted to do for some time regardless. I've frozen off a version of The Long Dark. I've got some uh, lovely mods running on it. I would Normally I don't run with mods that change the gameplay, but we've got some mods to make the game harder. So I'm all for that. More challenge, more better. To a degree. So what's ahead of us here? Well, it's a challenge called the Michelin Star Ultra Loper. We're going to be traveling, we're going to be cooking, and we're going to be playing on some pretty tough difficulty settings here. The goal is to serve a 4,000 plus calorie meal at every location in the map. It's going to comprise of a variety of foods, it's going to use the new cooking system that was introduced, and I am asking you for the menu. So it's not going to be needed on today's session, this is just the very start. We're not going to be in a position to cook it all up, but I will be looking for people to... Uh, to go through the foodstuffs in the game and create menus, preferably themed menus and certainly ones that make sense for each location. I'm not going to serve a dead rabbit, 20 chocolate bars and a bottle of oil as a meal. I posted some information about that on the Discord announcement, but I'm sure I will, uh, I'm sure I will relay that in the future when it's more relevant. So what are we playing on? Custom mode, of course. It allows for some nice fine tuning. Also, let's turn off these. We certainly don't have access to a bow a hammer or a flare gun, yet. We will. We'll have access to all of these goods eventually. So, so, so. Let's confirm this and let me go and grab my code so I don't have to go through all this again and potentially make a mistake. It's nice that the game lets you save your settings for your custom runs. It's not very nice that you can't copy this. <laughs> you have to look down and type all these weird things. It's, it's a strange system. But anyway, I can punch in this and we get our own custom setup here, so I may as well go through it here. Uh, baseline resources are low, as they are in Interloper. Gonna start in completely random time of day and weather. Some people like to go for Midnight Blizzard, but I prefer random aspect to the starting. If all you ever do is Midnight Blizzard, then it gets a little tiresome, plus you learn exactly where to go in those situations. Of course, we can't spawn indoors, that is for baby modes, and I have no idea why monologue is a difficulty setting. Must suck to accidentally turn this off and then want it on during the game, or vice versa. Uh, M and M and M. Oh man. I clearly did not make my code correctly because I'm already seeing things that are wrong. Weather variability. I'm actually going to have this on... Hmm, hang on, weather. Yeah, I'm gonna have weather on low. You might think that it's uh, harder and nastier to have it on high, but I've actually found that on high there is this uh, this thing that makes it a quite a bit easier, and that's that whenever you get hit with, a, hit with a blizzard, you know that if you just wait it out for a few hours, it is gone. I want blizzards that last a long time, so I will put that on to low in the hopes that it can really wipe me out. And said blizzards, I want them to be very high. World gets colder, of course. Wind variability, the same thing, I want it on low, because again, if the wind is blowing against you, you can just wait it out a little bit, it will change direction. Often I want auroras, fires don't magically overcome temperature, no endless night, thank you. Some mad people play uh, with that mode on. Ultra Loper is not Outer, um, outer Loper. It's similar to Outer Loper, but harder. I've just made up the term Ultra Loper, it doesn't really mean anything. This is a big change right here. If you're playing on Interloper, your thirst rate is only high, your fatigue rate is only medium, but with our custom mode, which it... Oh, okay. It, uh, it didn't remember what we had there. Oh boy, right, that means I can't jump between the two of them. Uh, okay, well, what I've gone and done is just made this a scutter, whereas the whole point of having this stuff saved was to not have a scutter. Point is, our rates are not very good. We are going to get thirsty and hungry and tired and cold very quickly. We are going to have very low recovery rate. Not none. Some people like to play on Dead Man, where you never recover health except for stims, and those are limited. I'm not a big fan of that. I do like to think that if things go terribly wrong, we can very slowly recover. But this very much disables starvation strats. If I starve, I won't be able to make back all of the condition just by sleeping. I will need to feed Shepard. 
Uh, hypothermia recovery time, very high. That actually means it takes a long time, not a short time. Some of these settings are very questionable how you're meant to read them. I'm also leaving birch bark tea on. Turning it off would certainly make the game harder, but I have a very compelling argument for keeping birch tea around, and that is, I like it. And the whole point of these settings is to make an experience that we like, after all. Um, another big thing that differentiates away from interloper is harvestable plant availability on interloper. It's actually high, probably to make you have to go out into the wilderness to grab your resources rather than grabbing what is freely available indoors, but that goes down to low. The cattails, the tea ingredients, the reishi mushrooms, all going to be hard to come across. Otherwise, I think... Is this stuff around? Yeah, we're gonna have more wolves, fewer rabbits, fewer passive animals, more dangerous animals. I'm not quite putting bears and moose to very high though, because those have the added effect of being walking loot boxes in terms of meat. So I'll just keep those in high for now, otherwise... I have to check through and make sure these are right, because there's no changing them once we're into the game. The wildlife behavior is made harder as well, the wolves are more aggressive and can smell us from further away and the passive wildlife is more skittish and more able to run away from us. Alright, that all seems about right. Let me grab that code and screenshot it. Huh, okay, my screenshot button didn't work. Let me grab that another way then. And let's get to it. Uh, as for the location... Location, location... Uh, I will probably be ignoring the far territory for almost all the run. I just don't like it. The two regions and the past region that they added to connect them up, I have been through and I really don't like them. So, although I will probably go and serve a meal there eventually, we'll be spending very little of our time there. We'll be going to Lower Great Bear, and I will turn to chat, actually. I like to think I can handle any of these spawns, but I will take the fourth recommendation in chat for a location to go to. The first one is Blackrock from Kaiser. Anohito wants Bleak Inlet. Are you using a quality of life difficulty options? Uh, I think it's just the um, the torch one, but I'll have to double check that. All right, so it's not Blackrock and it's not Bleak Inlet. <laughs> what else is it going to be? It's not going to be Muskeg. Okay, Geekston comes in with a fourth one. They want us to go to Desolation Point. Of all the locations here, probably the most out of the way, because it's a long linear path through crumbling highway into coastal highway, and then you can finally start branching off into, well, even then it's to Ravine to get to Mystery Lake or Bleak Inlet, Pleasant Valley, but yes, Desolation Point we go. Intermediate player area, key shelters. Uh, trying my best to remember if and where there are matches on this location. There's certainly plenty of... Uh, beach combing can be done. I haven't played this game in some time, although I did play the weekly one-shot for it. We'll be playing as Female Shepherd, and because of the nature of this challenge, I am going to permit using feats. But since feats are chumps, I'm still not going to use them, even if they are permitted. What's the point in having a harder challenge if we're just going to make things easier with the feats? So this is... Michelin Star. Might as well give it a number. I don't know how many attempts I'm going to need at this. All right. Let's go. Our plane has been brought down. We miraculously survived, but we landed in Bleak Inlet. Let's go. Wait, not Bleak Inlet. No, Desolation Point. Reading Bleak, Bleak, Bleak Illet in chat. Sometimes even to live is an act of courage. Well, we're... Oh god, right, it's night time, and I immediately realize some mistakes that I have made on my own setup. Could I please pause the game somehow? There we go. First thing is, and I always forget this when I play my game, is that I need to set the background of my monitor to matte black. I shouldn't change anything for you. I better not change anything for you. And maybe you can hear the slight beeping as I change my monitor brightness from 0% to a staggering 20%. Feel my retinas getting singed. Why isn't your monitor black always? Because I really like my background image. Okay, where in the world am I? I think I'm near the transition that takes me to... Uh, crumbling Highway, which is not where I want to be. I think I want to make my way to the lighthouse as soon as I can. So I shall. Let's go. Making my way over to Crumbling Highway does not help me out any. There's nowhere to rest in Crumbling Highway. Make sure we get some stones. Also, the question was about the mod settings. So we've got the Quality of Life mod on. It is enabled, absolutely. 
It remembers your crafting filter. This is the big one right here. The big thing I was looking for out of the, uh, the Bon Dougals mod. You are not allowed to take torches from campfires. I always found that to be way too easy to take and chain and maintain fire. We will not be allowed to do that. Also, we won't be able to use sticks to figure out where north is. They're going to be dropped in a random orientation. Cannot be used to find my way in uh, in difficult times. Otherwise, there are a lot of uh, added options here, none of which I think I'm going for, at least uh, difficulty modding ones. Man, this mod is good. I can't believe the developers are so anti-mod. The quote that goes around is, oh, we don't want to see zombie mods for the long dark. So, okay, well, uh, let's... I don't want to get food poisoning. Guess I'll never eat in my life. Madness. But, in the end, it is a difference of opinion. Right, I have a reasonably good idea as to where I am, and what I want to do is make my way over to the lighthouse so I can sleep away uh, this bad night. And it is certainly a bad night. Good luck with your run, Jake. Why, thank you. It would have better luck if I could see at all, but right now I cannot really see. I'm gonna hand it to this game. This game does darkness in a way that almost no other game does. Can you name any games where, in a dark place, it is actually really dark? As in, I can't see what's going on or where I'm going levels of dark. It's pretty bad because in addition to being night time and it feels like minus 12 when we're in our shirt and jeans, it's also snowing, so we're getting wetter. Wetter is not better in this context. But I know if I follow this road, eventually it'll branch off over to the right and bring me over to a lighthouse, which is absolutely where I want to go. Uh-oh. There's a wolf there and I can't see it. I'm just going to give a wide berth from the noise that I heard. Wolves are on very high. That's an interesting thing about Interloper versus Stalker, actually. On Stalker, which is an easier difficulty than Interloper, there are actually more wolves. Ooh, ooh beef jerky. It's going to be a difficult choice on what to do with the food. I need to eat. Um, on this difficulty setting, my hunger bar goes bananas. Oh boy, I can hear another wolf over there. I'm getting stuck on terrain. Yeah, my hunger goes absolutely bananas on these difficulty settings. Is that a lighthouse over there? It is, isn't it? Have I gone past the... the passage over to it? I think I might have overshot. It's very hard to see. Extremely hard to see. Alright, here we go, here we go. Dragon's Dogma is dark at night, really? I hate being cold because I really do. I don't think Dragon's Dogma is that dark at night. It just has a good way of making it seem dark because when you light something up, everything else becomes a lot darker, and you usually have something lighting your way. Well, you've got your little lanterns, don't you? All right, making it to the lighthouse is pretty good. When you spawn in this game, especially an interloper, your absolute first priority is to seek shelter or warmth to get yourself through the first night. That's your immediate survival concern. And that's pretty good. We actually didn't take any condition... Where's the door? Here's the door. We didn't take any condition damage getting over here, which is a good start. However, we're not yet warm. Feels like zero degrees in here. That's not warm enough. Also, it is pitch black. So I am probably going to get some condition loss, because the night has only just started. And this night is long. I kind of am forced to wait out the night here. And with no water, we're going to get thirsty and start taking thirst damage. Oh, man. Well, it wouldn't be a Jake long dark run if we didn't have some fumbling in the dark. But fumble we shall. Good thing I know the layout here. If you were a blind player to this game, as in... You've never played this game before, but you've managed to survive this far. This is where you die because you don't know where anything is. Interestingly, we can read in the dark. Good for us. There is a bed here. I'm just barely not frozen. You can see in the bottom left my heat counter. Uh, there's the bed. I don't want to stray too far from it. There's a shelf that usually has goodies in it. Hey, an emergency stim! Can't believe I found that in the dark. 
I could explore further, but I think the right thing to do is just wait out the night. Again, I will get thirsty, but I'm just going to have to deal with that because I can't function right now. It's too dark, I have no source of light, and actually, this is a worse spawn than Midnight Blizzard. This is why I like to have random on. You'd assume Midnight Blizzard is the worst spawn, but this is worse because it's earlier than midnight, meaning I have to wait longer for the sun to rise, and a blizzard would have despawned the wolves, giving me a lot more freedom to explore around outside. Sure, I wouldn't have been able to see very well with the blizzard, but I can't see well now. First thing I'm going to do is pass a little bit of time in this bed. The bed will warm me up slightly. Oh, right, I think the question was outer loper. I was talking about interloper. Uh, no, I'm not doing outer loper. Uh, I wouldn't... I don't think I'd survive, let alone get the ingredients I need to... Um, to get the task done. Right, as you can see, I'm getting really rather thirsty right now, which is not good. Uh, I will be taking condition damage from thirst, so the sooner I can get access to water, the better. But I need to be able to see, so I'm going to have to wait on the sun. There we go, we are now completely thirsty. Uh, I could eat the jerky now, but I won't. The sun is almost coming up. Thirst does double fatigue, uh, double condition damage compared to anything else, so I'm actually getting quite hammered water. by the lack of water. Alien vs. Predator, it was really dark. Then the muzzle flash blinds you. I don't like flashbangs in my game. Right, you'd think it would be nice and light enough, with the sun just barely peeking over the horizon, but they, they build these places to not be seen in. Was there a cap there? I swear it said something about a cap. A baseball cap! Okay, sweet. It's terrible as insulation goes, but at least it prevents frostbite on the head. Get something for our hands and we'll be relatively frostbite-proof. Right, it kills me to spend all this time taking thirst damage, but there we go. I can finally see a little bit. And a little bit is all we need, so what did we miss around here? Running River Oats. I will be taking that. I won't be using it just yet. Oh my god, if there was a drink underneath the bed, I'm going to be kicking myself. I couldn't see enough to even look under the bed, but... A firearm cleaning kit. Well, we're not picking that up. I think that is a bugged spawn in interloper difficulty. It certainly shouldn't be there. Maybe a custom difficulty spawn uh, bug. But there are no firearms, or there aren't meant to be any firearms on interloper and above. Two of these lockers are locked, which means they probably definitely have nothing in them. I'm going to go all the way up to the top. Very seldom do I see anything at the top of the lighthouse, but today could be our lucky day. Ah, look at that, a newsprint! I can work with that. I mean, sure, a newsprint's nothing fancy, but I'll tell you what it is. It's a couple bits of tinder. And I'm going to need tinder where I'm going. It's still snowing, but it's relatively clear. So at least we can make our way over to the cannery, get ourselves some light, get ourselves some water, stop taking fit, um, thirst damage, it's pretty important. Ooh, accelerant! That's a nice find. And a bit of cloth, could be a bandage in my time of need. In fact, while I'm here and while I'm not freezing cold, I'm actually going to make that tinder plug out of that newsprint. Or two tinder plugs, rather. And, just in case things go really bad when I'm out there, I want it to be ready with a bandage. So let's also create a couple of bandages out of that piece of cloth. I'm doing it in here because it's relatively warm. And even though I am still thirsty, I'm going to take another one hour nap in the bed. Just to get my fatigue and my warmth where I need them. Because we get fatigued very quickly on this difficulty setting. Should there be a recipe here somewhere? Probably. I seem to recall there being a recipe, but I also don't see one. Hopefully I don't have things that despawn recipes with my settings here, but I don't think I do. Didn't check all these drawers. I'll take it. Ooh, a scarf. A little less good, since we already managed to find the cap, but it's in great condition, so that is good warmth. In fact, I'm now warm in here. Another bag of crisps. We checked all of these. A book. Book is great as a starter for a fire. Uh, firewood. Oil. Mm. Hmm. I'm a little skeptical about taking the oil. It's going to be a long time before I need it, but I will take it. 
try and drag it closer to the exit of this place. Or I could just leave it here and pick it up on the way back. Hmm. Hmm. How heavy is that oil? It's almost a kilogram. I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave the oil here. And we'll make a mental note that oil is in the lighthouse. Which we will forget. I should make a real note. In fact, can't we do such a thing? Oh, I don't have my Steam overlay. Because I don't play this game through Steam. I've got a branched off version. I'll take another scarf. It might even be better than the cap. Take feathers. Feathers are good. In fact, do I just want to go and follow the... Uh... I do, actually. I'm going to go all the way down and follow the um, the beach combing. Let's make our way down. Let's not break our ankle like we did on our weekly one-shot. Ten seconds into the run, I'm going, ah, oh, no, be fine. Snap. That was a brutal start. Right, so beachcombing. All this water and Shepard refuses to drink it. Beachcombing is absolute gachaville, except you don't have to pay for your rolls. You just have to risk yourself by walking along the edge here. I'm definitely going to be taking cold condition damage, but hopefully it'll pay off. Random things get washed up on shore. Random things like this delicious bass. I think it was a bass. That's a good source of calories when I make my way over to, well, somewhere that I can start a fire in. You just got to be careful that you don't break through the ice. Also, the wind is against me, and this is where the lack of wind variability is going to hurt me. Also, it looks like a blizzard might be starting. It certainly doesn't look like it's not a blizzard that's coming my way. The weather conditions right now are dire. And I am definitely on a route to take some nasty condition damage. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No! Get out! Oh, God! I just about killed myself there. There we go. Right, there was nothing in that backpack. Just about fell through the ice there. And it is a blizzard. Okay, this is pretty bad. On the plus side, it's not going to spawn any wolves. On the downside, it's going to be hell to move in, hell to see in. Oh, Jesus, that scared the bejesus out of me. Rabbit here, but it's not rabbit hunting season. It's get into shelter season. So much for low variability on wind. It just changed direction about three times. It matches! What a godsend! The odds of finding matches on a corpse are probably unknown. I certainly don't know it. Man, it is tempting to actually get me this rabbit now that I've found matches. It does change the conditions a bit for me. Oh, rabbit's too good for me. Gotta be careful on taking crazy damage here. Frostbite risk. Incoming. Come with me, rabbit. Pet the bunny. Pet the bunny. Gosh, did that get more visceral? I should not be afraid to use my matches. The Riker is over there somewhere. If I can get over to it, I can start a fire, make some water, stop taking this ridiculous amount of fatigue damage. Those matches were a great find. And there's the Riker right there. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Could not have asked for a much better start to this. I could have. But it wouldn't be much better. Right, so first thing I need to do is warm up. And I won't be able to peel torches out of this, which is a bit rough, but what's a man to do? So here's the furnace. I'm gonna try starting a fire. Uh, will I use my accelerant? I will not. I use my tinder plug, my matches. 80% chance of success. How could it possibly fail? Yeah, we found oil, but that's not oil for a torch, sadly. I'd need to find a jerry can. Come on, little fire. Oh god, don't fail on me like that. Got another 80% chance. That wasted a match and some tinder. If I fail two 80% chances here, I'm really going to be suffering for it, because I'm taking cold damage as we speak. And remember, I cannot pull a torch out of this oh, fire, fire, or any fire. Absolutely wonderful. It's not enough to keep me warm, though. Uh, where's the coal? I'm certain there is coal around here. There's a bit of coal. So, go to furnace, add one bit of coal, and now we will warm up. While all that's going on, I will make absolutely sure that we make ourselves some water. There we go. Warming up, no longer taking cold damage. And now, a little cool trick is to make a tiny bit of water boil 
and then put it in and then cook up a proper amount of water and drink the tiny amount that you just made. 20 milliliters of water, just enough to barely stave off condition damage. So I'm now not taking damage and I'm warming up all good things. But what's the problem here? The problem is, whereas I would normally just take a torch, you cannot. Thank you, Von Dougals, for this amazing difficulty increase, thanks to the quality of life mod. I would love to explore around here, but it is very dark and I cannot grab a torch. If I want torches, I'm going to have to make them myself. Where is torch, anyway? Is it tea for torch? Here it is. Meaning I need cloth, lamp oil, and sticks. The lamp oil is the most difficult part of that right now. I'd need to find a jerry can, or I'd need to find just a straight-up thingy of, um, excuse me, a straight-up thingy of lamp oil in one of those small uh, containers. Obviously don't have that. The early focus here is on ah, 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 staying alive. Oh god, I, I needed more water. Right, if that's the case, let's make another very small amount of water. This thirst is actually a lot harder than I expected. I suppose I should have expected it to be hard, but... Uh... Oh, crumbs, that just gave me more non-potable water, didn't it? Uh, that's okay, I can fix this. I can take the non-potable water that I have somewhere here, drop it, grab that. Wait, I thought I dropped my water. Oh, I don't think I selected the amount to drop, did I? That's the, my cool trick is uh, appearing to be considerably less cool right now. thirsty you get in this, but what was the point of playing hard mode if it's not going to be hard? There we go, get my nasty diseased water there, boiling away in 17 minutes. This fire isn't going to last very long, but I am relatively warm right now. Yeah, I also have a fish. It would take a long time to cook this fish, so I think I'm going to wait until I get to the Hibernia processing plant, because then, whilst it's cooking, I can at least go and explore. And on top of that, in Hibernia, um, there are two cooking slots. On one of these forges, there is only one. So in terms of using my resources, this forge is really bad. Welcome to the Jake Survival Podcast, where he describes how to cook a Michelin meal. Yeah, your, your meal is a non-potable water and a raw bass so far. A gamey. Raw bass. Mm mm mm. Gosh, I, I ran through that water like mad. I might keep this fire going and try to explore as much as I can in the darkness. I need to make my way up to the top anyway. Uh, so I think I want to make sure I can make some more water. With that in mind, have a few more sticks. God, the, the instinct is so to pull out a torch, but that's not allowed. <laughs> Gamer sushi. <laughs> that's grim. Right, just drink that down immediately. Don't want to be taking any fatigue damage, uh, any water damage, or any damage at all if I can avoid it. Right, now let's try our best to sniff around this location. There's a metal shelf here. You know what, I am not confident in my ability to make my way around here as blindly as I am. I am going to throw in a whole piece of cedar wood just to keep that thing going for longer, just in case I get lost and struggle to come back. I don't want to come back and find my fire gone. So, how do we move around here again? If this is the for, there's also some stuff over here, is there not? Yeah, like I said, plenty of fumbling around in the darkness. This is why I took that extra nap before setting off. Man, all I can think about is food. Why are you thinking about food? Don't think about food. You've got a whole gamey bass on you. It is bass and not bass, right? Bass is what you play, bass is what you eat. And what you mock. There's something here. I can sense it. A flask! Interesting. I have never used the flask, so I don't know how it works. 
still blizzarding outside, and because we turned vo uh, weather variability onto uh, absolute haha -ha no, it's not going to get much better. Not for a while, at least. But this is what I'm here for, a message talking about a memento cache that I want, and a little key, and maybe a little goodie for me? No, that would be too much to ask for, but the, uh, the memento key is actually really important. Because even if we had not found the matches that we found, and I cannot stress how great a find that was, we would have grabbed that key and then marched straight up to Hibernia, where there are some flares, and flares are a guaranteed way to start a fire as well, provided you have the other gubbins. It's not unthinkable that there are other goods here that I simply cannot see, but it's very dark in here. There's a corpse. He could have anything. He could have even more matches for me. He does not. There's a bed to sleep on. That's actually not unthinkable to sleep here before heading up to Hibernia. Just in the hopes that the weather turns a bit better so I can have a clearer run over there. A book. It's an archery book. I don't tend to bother training uh, archery much, so if anything that's just a way to start a fire easier. Hell yeah, more long dark, says Victor. Yeah, and we just started as well. You can tell by how hungry I am. Okay, absolutely diddly inside the um, little filing cabinets here. How's my water coming along? Water is going to be even more important than normal. Be boiled in five minutes. Maybe I will cook my fish here and take a one hour nap. Doesn't really matter if the fire burns out, honestly. But I need water. How long would it take to cook this fish? One and nine. Alright, tell you what then. I will put on one stick. It's going to cook my fish. I will eat my fish. So the fish cooks while I take a nap. Downside is, of course, I'm just going to get thirsty. Where the heck was the way up? There we go. Can't wait to have the lantern. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mark matches on my get list. I will frequently forget that. Please yell at me when I do. Let's take a one hour nap in the bed. Everything is okay. We're even going to gain a minuscule amount of condition back from that. It probably won't even be 1% condition. But there we go. The blizzard may have stopped, but also might not have. I feel like whenever you sleep, the game will re-roll the weather. Alright, there's our lovely cooked bass, and we can't take a fire, so there's not really much to gain from sitting next to this thing. Uh, I'm absolutely just going to eat to this thing. Starving isn't going to get me anywhere good at this point. Uh, you know, I wonder about that. I'm going to eat it anyway. Yum, 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 yum. Look at that huge amount of calories. I think I'll even drink. Don't worry, K-Tac, we've only just started and hobbled our way to victory so far. Feels so wrong leaving a fire without taking a fire with me. I'm going to have to relearn this. Oh, something else I wanted to do whilst I'm here is trade out my hat for a second scarf. I think scarves present, uh, prevent uh, head frostbite, but you know what? I haven't tested it. Doesn't look good out there, does it? Looks pretty white. Oh, well, damn. I might be quite right about the whole uh, rejigging of the weather when you sleep. Downside of... Co well, the upside is I can see Hibernia and go for Hibernia. You'd be surprised how difficult this straight-ahead walk can be when you just cannot see. Not very windy either. The downside, of course, is that in a blizzard, uh, hostile animals will not spawn. They won't despawn if they're already near you, but they won't spawn. Right, I'm actually going to take the wider route across here. It's going to make it easier to grab the flares and also gives me a chance to beachcomb some more goodies. You might notice that my hunger meter is absolutely bottoming out when I run. On these difficulty settings, you will lose fatigue. It should be gain fatigue, right? Anyway, your fatigue meter will drop incredibly quickly and hello, hello, hello. What do we have here? Is that cloth? I might need that for making a torch. I will want these saplings so that I can make bows and arrows and I certainly want things to burn. Beachcombing is so good. In fact, I'd even go so far as to say it is my favorite mechanic in the long dark. 
so much across the game world here is finite, and I think beachcombing is a nice, tidy solution to the finite nature of many items in the game. It's not without its risk. You have to go across here where the ice can break from under you, and you are, every time you go beachcombing, completely exposed. If the weather turns, you're out here with no cover. If animals corner you, you can really be cornered with your back to the water. And yet, it's a way to get items that otherwise would deplete entirely, like those um, saplings. And cloth, actually. Cloth is a finite resource aside from beachcombing. There is a uh, ton of it. There's certainly a lot of places you can go to harvest cloth off of curtains and certain fabric chairs, but you will eventually run out. But beachcombing is there to make sure that there is still a saving grace. I feel like the weather might be turning again. Anyway, this is what we've got the key for. Opening this box is going to give us three fl Oh, God. Oh, lordy. You stay away. Just noticed you elegantly prancing about there. Scared me. Before I check out Hibernia proper, I'm going to check out the little trailers here. I got a distress pistol in an interloper game from... Be distress pistol from beachcombing? That is unheard of. This is a generic trailer, we're going to see a lot of them, but sometimes they can have wee surprises in you. Like matches in a crate here. Peaches inside here. It's not peaches, it's tomato soup. I better hold on to that in case somebody decides they want tomato soup in their meal. But then again, early game, I'm very much focused on my own survival as I build up the resources that I need to become self-reliant. Currently, I'm not very self-reliant. I'm relying on nature's bounty and indoor loot. This kind of setting on Outer Loper would be ridiculous, but people have done Outer Loper Dead Man worlds. Alright, whilst I'm still somewhat warm, I'm confident I'll be warm inside Hibernia, so I want to get all my outdoor looting and checking out the trailers while I can. It's actually a great day. Look at that. Clear skies, not a lot of wind. Why do I smell so bad? What do I have that smells? Why do I have a stink meter? What? I'm not bleeding. What in God's name is making me stink? Is this just a high difficulty setting? Oh, I, oh, I for completely forgot that I Jesus nailed that bunny. God. Completely forgot. If I'd been thinking, I would have uh, harvested that bunny in the ship. Yeah, wow, bunnykins doing me in from beyond the grave. There's something here. Where is it? What is it? Oh, it's this broken metal door. Hardly of great use to me. Have you showered since the Frostpunk 2 beta came out? So believe it or not, I'm not gaga over playing it 24-7. I played it, and uh, I just really played it to figure out what we're going to be looking at when Frostpunk 2 fully releases. I don't want to squeeze it to dry lest it squeeze dry my enthusiasm for the main game release. It's part of the reason why I don't play early access games. But, you know, I can I can shift the goalposts enough to suggest that that run of Frostpunk 2 was not early access. It was simply a uh, premature preview, if you will. Another book that we can just burn, because we don't need to learn about guns or gunsmithing. For there are no guns on Interloper. Sometimes they can appear bugged. What is this? Missing bit of texture. But I've never had that happen. Never found a pistol, uh, like a proper pistol or rifle on Interloper. But some people play their long, long games and they find these bugged items and like to keep them as heirlooms. I can get behind that. It does make them extra mad when uh, the game updates and tears away their goodies. Okay, okay, we are slightly warm in here, but this is no place to live. We need to get inside Hibernia. Also, it's actually going to be quite rare to find rose hips, so I need to grab them when I see them. Alright. It might be a nice day, but nice is relative here in Canada. I'm going to grab these trailers and make my way inside. I cannot afford to take avoidable damage. So in we go. Ah, oh god, we're not warm, but we're only barely cold. And ding, 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 more matches. This anymore. Amazing. Soda, wonderful. Another whetstone, I don't need it. Another tomato soup, I'll take it. 
There's going to be plenty of uh, things. When we did the shopkeeper run, we really got a tally on just how many ingredients there are in the world, so I'm not going to be afraid of using potential cooking ingredients early. But once we're a few dozen days into the run, I really can't be affording to eat my oats and my tomato soups and my pinnacle peaches and my nuts and stuff. I need to save those for the, the cook-off. And if you didn't hear that from the start, I am looking to you, the loyal viewer, to come up with ideas for our meals. I need at least 4,000 calories in size of the meal. And I need one for each location. So pick a prominent location in each area, or don't, I can pick one out if you want, and devise a meal, a varied meal. 4,000 calories must include a drink, and it must be sensible. So I'm not going to make a meal that is just 40 cups of soup and uh, a raw fish. I want to make rose hips pies and pancakes and stews and normally you have a torch, right? Where's the torch? I need- I really need a torch! Holy smokes, that is a lot of matches to get on day one, but where's the torch? I cannot pull torches from fires on this mode, so to not get one is a bit of a kicker. Torches actually save you on matches because you can light a torch and then light a fire with a torch rather than using a match failing to start and having to spend another match. Still though, it's hard to complain about this many matches. I'm complaining anyway though. I'm British, I can complain about anything. Even the British. Matches are just small torches, yeah. When I first played this game, when I was doing the Escape the Dark Walker run, I didn't know about torches. So I was lighting matches and having a burn in my hands just so I could see my way around an area. And uh, looking back on it, I cringe, but I can only imagine how much uh, people who knew the game were cringing to see that. And of course, because it was a challenge run, they couldn't hint to tell me, oh, you know, you could light your torch, Jake. It would last more than three seconds and you'd be able to see. Dog food I have no problem eating. I probably wouldn't accept anybody's meal idea that is just dog food. I know some people like to try and be silly and quirky with these kinds of submissions, but I am looking for sensible meals here. Don't try and display your unique quirkiness by making your dog food supreme meal. It's not what I'm looking for. It'd be very Germanic humor. You're not Germanic, are you? Oh boy! It's a good thing we waited on the rabbit. We now have the hacksaw. Wait a second, didn't they change how hacksaws work? I think they changed it so you can't hacksaw a rabbit. I hope that's not the case. I guess we're going to find out real soon. Still a little cold, but only a little. Another flare. Excellent. I hate saves in this game. This is uh, contrary to the... Hold on, I need to concentrate. 30-something. Con contrary to beachcombing, I think this is one of the worst mechanics, if not the worst mechanic in the game. What am I achieving by doing this? I already forgot the number, was it like 15 or so? It's just an exercise in patience and not a fun one. Not by a long shot. I guess somebody worked hard on making this and they don't want to pull it out. That or people think this is good. There we go, open it up and our grand prize is... $20... Oh well, no, I have no room to complain about that. Thin wool sweater is the best sweater you can get on Interloper. There are some minor exceptions to that, but as a rule, you might as well accept thin wool sweater, best inner top layer. I want to get my cooking going whilst I explore this area, and I should have enough thanks to picking up the wood that we saw outside. So, fire barrel. Um, cash is tinder, however. I'm going to make another tinder plug out of this stick that I have because it could still fail. We are cold-ish, but not so cold that we're taking damage. In fact, we are very, very slowly recovering health. Yeah, you like to keep your set, uh, your sweater safe, apparently. I'm just going to burn the small arms handbook. It gives me a 20% chance of uh, added success to the fire starting. I don't want to use my accelerant. Accelerant is absolutely something that I'm saving for a uh, tricky situation. The book, on the other hand, serves no purpose. 
If you were a hoarder, you'd want to keep the skill books because they are finite, except for the fishing ones. Come on, little fire. All right, let's not fail another eighty percent fire start, shall we? It's only one in five. There we go. We're fine. Get it up. Get it good. Get it fueled. Not with coal, but I'll check on this reclaimed wood and the cedar firewood, and that's going to last for a good long time. Absolutely need more water. We're going to need a ton of water on this run. While the water is going, I am going to harvest this rabbit. I'm also going to forget how you harvest rabbits. Let me think. You drop it, you look at it, you harvest it. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I want that meat. Okay, okay. This is the first time I've actually seen this. Give me that meat. New animations that they've added for harvesting the bunnies. Not sure it's doing much other than trying to elicit motion sickness. I wonder if there's a way to turn it off. Okay, good enough. Made the passage of time feel kind of weird there, but... There we go. Was that the big one that I started cooking up? It was not. In fact, it's... Wait, was it? Was it? 500 calories and... Okay, yeah, cook the big one. You'll be boiled in eight minutes. What can a man do in eight minutes? He can make some more tinder plugs. I want those sticks, but I'm certain I'll find more sticks. And it's not like I can use it to find stick north. There we go. Take the water. Cook the more water. You'll be ready in 28 minutes. I could harvest some more rabbit things, but I won't, because it'll make me smell bad when I move around. So I'm really only just interested in getting the meat out of this rabbit for now. My instinct was once again to grab a torch, but we cannot grab a torch here. You can lock yourself behind these crates. There is something to find behind them, but I don't think it's worth the uh, the need to break out because Shepard is, like all Canadians, extremely weak. Absolute pathetic Canadian ankles on Shepard here, but no upper body strength either. Well, I suppose they can climb a rope, but they can't climb over a box. Seeing a whole lot of not much here, but that's okay. There's plenty to explore. Bit of reclaimed wood so we can make a Brazilian grill. How do you like your pizzas? In Brazil, they like them uh, cooked in garbage and then just mashed up with a knife. We've all seen the footage. Okay, okay. Loads of fuses. I'm not really caring about doing the long dark... Echo Tales stuff. I haven't actually completed it, but it doesn't entice me. It also requires going over to the airfield, and as I mentioned earlier, no interest in doing that. Alright, more firewood is good firewood. It's nice to find, but it doesn't enable anything. I'm looking for great enablers right now. But there is a somewhat lesser known area here in Hibernia, and that is going up this tube and finding underneath this... Boat. I'm sure plenty of people have played this game loads and never found this. Uh, a cup of coffee. Really good. A book. Good for burning. And some painkillers. Good for nothing. However, if you look above you, you then find tomato soup. And rack your fingers around the tinny and you'll find... Wait, some scrap metal. It's a bizarre thing to find up here. Not bad. The coffee is an excellent find, especially with the difficulty settings we're playing on. There's a good chance I'm just going to spend the night here, because I'm already very tired. And I do want to be well rested for my escape from this area. Rabbit's nice and cooked. Let's cook the other rabbit. Let's make as much water as we can. Yeah, I think I'll be using this to make a whole load of water. And I will use the calories from the rabbit and the water here in order to be able to sleep the night away. The night will recede and give birth to a good day. I'm actually contemplating this. Let me see, 14 minutes till ready, 3 minutes till boiled. I might... might grab the rabbit carcass, the, um, the skin off the rabbit carcass. So I'll add a bit more time onto this fire for now. Now plan to come back to the region. Uh, yes. Wouldn't you want to get started on the bunny parts? I imagine by the time I'm coming back here, I will already have rabbit stuff. Um, Desolation Point is just so far out of the way that I struggle to think of a good reason to be coming back here. 
until the late game. All right, all right. Get you nice and cooked. 11 minutes till melted, huh? May have made a slight mistake with this. Can we melt a whole load of snow? Keep that fire barrel going with another bit of firewood. And then, I won't get going with the guts, but I'll get going with the hide, because I don't think hide stinks. You'll rip it off with your bare hands, Shepard. Mmm, mmm, tasty. <laughs> a bit gory though, isn't it? Right, hopefully I don't forget this on my way out. In fact, I'll put it down next to the bed. You're boiling dry, I need yet more water. Let's boil the water that I melted. And then boil another batch of water, and then I might go and have a little look outside since I'm relatively warm. Go and do a bit of late beachcombing if the conditions are good. But then I'm coming back here and sleeping because Shepard is quite tired. Nothing else to cook. It's not necessarily true. I could cook up some of the soup and things, but... No, we're good. We're actually alright in the calories that we have here. Very nice thing from the Von Dougals mod. Here are different kinds of food actually stack on each other. You can mouse wheel between the different ones that you have here. Sorry, the view there is probably uh, killing the bitrate. So I can look and I've got two 21% banged up tomato soups and one 41%. Non potable water is boiled. Now get another batch of water. Really struggling on the water. I will definitely drink that soda if the need arises. And this rabbit carcass has done all it should do for me. I think I'll go up top and drop the food and the um, the pelt by the bed. It might be difficult to navigate as long as it's next to something that's easy to find and that I'll be waking up to uh, waking up next to anyway. Should be a good place to be. I don't need more bandages. I need the cloth in the perhaps vain hope that I can someday craft a torch. My ability to carry weight is plummeting because I'm getting tired, and I will be getting tired a lot in this run. Eat the dog food for a second can. No, because I don't have a knife or a tin opener, I cannot preserve the tin. Surrounded by snow and nothing to drink. Maybe the implication there is, Jake, you missed a tin opener, but I don't think I've ever seen a tin opener in Hibernia. Which wouldn't make any sense, right? This is, this is a cannery. Why would they not have a tin opener around here? I didn't put a tin opener on my list of items in the top left because it's not a great enabler. It means that you're going to lose slightly less food from the things that you open up and it'll give you more empty cans. That does not enable in the same way that a hacksaw enables or a knife enables. But yeah, no tin opener and no knife. Oh, hello, I overlooked that book. Jake, excited about seeing a book. Unthinkable, is it not? But right now, just about any resource that I can grab for free is a good resource. Right now. Also, getting thirsty. I cannot afford to be thirsty. So glug, glug, glug. There's a whetstone. I, I deliberately pass by that whetstone because it's very seldom used and I already have one. They're very light at only 100 grams, so I don't mind carrying around one even if I can't use it. But I would never be carrying around multiple whetstones. Boy, it would be really handy to double up my water production or have a, uh, a pot or a pan so that I can make water faster. Wait, does it do it faster? I forget. I think it does. Yeah, yeah, it does. What do you mean a can opener won't fight off a wolf? You're not using it right, clearly. I'm not deluded enough to think that I could fight a bear, but I'm pretty confident I could fight off a wolf. This is literally watching water boil, but I want to make sure I grab that water, deposit what I can next to my bed while the going is good, and then head out for a little bit of hopefully safe beachcombing. And top up my water a little bit more. I don't want to max out my water because you get thirstier when you eat meat. Alright, take that, take that. Cannot take a fire. I'm going to be reiterating that a lot because the very normal thing to do in, I just about said Frostpunk, the long dark is to grab a torch. Always be torching. A, B, T. Maybe A, B, C. Always be carrying a torch. Where's my best bed opportunity? Is it really that one over there? 
These beds give three degrees warmth bonus. These beds give harder to find in the dark bonus, but plus five, I'll take plus five. So what am I dropping here? My food, my other food. The food is 100%, so it'll be fine even leaving it indoors. I want to start my sapling drying out, and I want to start my rabbit pelt drying out. And, 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 I might drop some other relatively heavy things, just in case I end up finding a huge haul when I'm out and about. I mean, you never know, do you? Maybe dropping my ability to make fires isn't a great idea, but I'm just making a pile of goods on the ground here. So that hopefully it's so many goods that I won't forget them. However, if I do forget them, I'm going to be paying the price. Also, it got a lot darker than I was anticipating. Not entirely sure it's going to be good enough conditions for beach combing, but I can I can still kind of see. Looks grim out here, though. All I'm doing here is going for some much needed beach combing. I might find nothing, or I might find something amazing. I got 10 stones, that is definitely weighing me down. Does anyone know if that's the reason that there is the measurement stone? Did they find a stone and holy moly ran? i leave you there. I wanted to move it just in case it would despawn on me, I don't know exactly how spawning and despawn rules work, but that's an amazing find. It's gonna make me stink to high heaven, but it's a lot of calories. Cured leather could be useful. Probably won't be, but it could be. Holy smokes, this game wants me to eat fish like mad. Take that salmon. Take that cattail head. It's not as bad as it might sound. That is uh, genuine tinder. This is already so good that I should turn back and not get greedy, because now I stink. The wolves are going to be very interested in me right now. Alright, that's good enough. Don't press your luck, Jake. Get back. Grab the other fish. Contemplate cooking it up. I'll check its condition when I get into safety. But I will genuinely contemplate starting yet another fire just to cook up these two fish and get myself a butt ton of calories. The weather is getting really bad though. And look how quickly I lost my temperature. I'm tired, thirsty, hungry. It's just not a good day to be Commander Shepard. Looks like a lockbox, but it's not. It's just a broken piece of the wooden railing here. Just legging it in case there are any wolves wanting a piece of me. I have been wolf grabbed while trying to enter before. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is a bad place to enter. I can barely see. Uh, where was the door? Where did I come in from? It's not going to get any lighter. Uh oh. Do not waste a match trying to find your way out. I shouldn't have moved when I came in. What a mistake. Okay, there we go. Before I leave, let's check the condition of the food by, I don't know, feeling it with our fingers. 84 and 40. Hmm. Hmm. It's a very, very strong argument to cook up both these things right now. That's a lot of calories to enjoy, and I need calories. Alright, I think it will be easier on me if I leave the warehouse. Do not get blindsided by a wolf here. Getting a bit thirsty. I know, Shepard, I know. Getting tired. You also take condition damage from being tired, so I don't want to be tired, but it's not much compared to many other things. Oh boy, oh boy, this isn't amazing. Uh might not eat the might not cook the fish now then. Might cook the fish tomorrow. I'm gonna eat a tree. So what I can do is drop both of the fish here. It's both navigation, the fact that I already have some food, and... Well, that, that's it entirely, actually. Now I've got to navigate my way back to... Did I drop the food? Yeah, I did drop the food. Okay. Got to be wary that there are holes in the floor as well. It's okay, I can kind of make out what's going on here. I'm so tired, I could lay down right here. Just got to find my Betty bye-byes. There's a chair. 
Yes, I can see the chair. It's hard to even tell which way you're looking. I can navigate myself from that kind of bright window. So I should be next to my bed right now. There's my bed. Okay, good. Good. I want to go this side of the bed and look down. And all my goods should be there, but they're not. Oh, 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 oh. I swear I left my goods here. Oh, there we go, my book. Right, look there, look down. This is where I left all my stuff. Come on, where is it? This might have been a bit of a mistake dropping all my goods over here, but I did. Just fumbling around in the dark, grabbing my things, but I grabbed what's important, and that is to say my rabbit. I'm gonna nosh it all down. Because like I said, starvation strats are not particularly good an idea for this run, because I take a lot of damage. Maybe I'm going to drink my Summit Soda. It's calories and it's hydration. Bottom out with the water. And then I'm going to make sure that I have some of my goods dropped. Particularly, I want to make sure that my pelt and my sapling are drying out. The fish will remain better preserved outside, unless they change that. Would be a nice thing to change. Also, I don't need this many uh, painkillers. I'm going to drop one batch of them. All right. Tomorrow will be a bright new day. There's my bed. I believe I can only sleep for eight hours before I start taking condition damage from thirst. So eight hours sleep, please. Are you taking recipe ideas? Yes. It's obviously no good posted to me ethereally in chat right now, but if you send me a message, preferably on, uh, well, Discord's the easiest way for me, but that might not be the easiest for you. Of course, I probably would be for you, Baron. Uh, but yes, I'm, it's not, uh, I want the whole meal. I want that 4,000 calorie meal, preferably themed and definitely sensible. All right, so there's no way I can sleep for forever, so I'm just going to... Slap down another eight hours. Shepherd will wake up when she's no longer sleepy. And it's kind of visible. And okay, okay, not bad. Still gonna leave the rabbit pelt and the sapling here next to the bed. Oh, it's so easy to find. Shepherd, of course, is hungry. You ate an entire rabbit last night and washed it down with a soda, but she wakes up going, oh, I'm so hungry. Canadians more like their southern brothers than they might think. All right, the... The fish went a little bad, but not so bad that it's going to be difficult for me to eat. So let's go and start another fire, cook up both of these fish, make some more water, maybe even have another nap before we leave, and then go. And again, I have to be quite wasteful with my, uh, my matches because I have no torches to use. I could use my accelerant. Again, I will not try to save those for emergencies. We've already used three matches. Here's a fourth. If you already have a lit match in your hand, there's this cool animation where you just lob the match into the barrel and it starts the fire. I discovered that by accident in a desperate situation. It was really cool. A lot of really cool things about this game. It's just it's the DLC that I have the problem with. Perfect. Uh, what's the button to drop my food again? Three. There we go. It's big enough to cook two pieces of fish on, and it's going to take some time. So I need some things to burn. Good thing I've got that cedar firewood. That'll get our fish ready. Is there anything I can do with the time until they are ready? It's a problem I've already explored around this area. There's nothing I can do in the crafting desk. I don't think I rooted around the drawer in the crafting desk. There wasn't anything for me there. Mm hmm. I don't want to walk around too much. Walking around makes me tireder and more hungry. Was that something? No. The thing about this game is no matter how thoroughly you search an area, you will come back and you will find something you've missed. So I tend not to stress too much about overlooking things. That said, if they're very important, if there is a tin opener here that I've managed to miss, then I'd be kicking myself. But if you don't know it, you don't know you've missed it. And it's hard to trust people in chat telling me that I've missed something. 
They're just trying to pull my proverbial leg. I could smash apart some crates with my bare hands, but it would take a long time and cost a lot of calories. Not to mention Shepard is currently still very thirsty. Could actually get the gut out of the rabbit right now. I think it only takes about 40 minutes with a hacksaw. 30 minutes with a hacksaw. Take a little drink. And I'm going to grab this gut. I might, might want it sometime in the future. Hacksaw can't be used on everything. It's more of a hatchet and a hammer job. A hatchet couldn't be used on a... Okay, we are literally starving now. Uh, this sa this uh, salmon will burn soon, so I'm just going to eat the whole thing. Nom 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 nom. Uh, didn't I just enter starvation for a moment there? I'm not going for well-fed, but it certainly would be nice to have. I gotta say, my condition looks good. Condition Snow, regaining is going to be agonizingly slow for this run. I'm also agonizingly low on water, so I am going to make another batch of it and feel very bad about not having a second can. Hmm, I don't have something good to burn. I don't want to burn my book. Time is it? It's early morning ish. I think I'm gonna burn the firewood, make more water, and then get moving. That is quite a lot of extra water, but that's okay. Chow down that rainbow trout shepherd. It's good for you. Oh, it actually costs water. For some reason in my head, I thought that eating fish gave you hydration. I don't consider fish to be a particularly. A dry thing to be eating. Chairs and the like. I thought they were hack sawable. Well, let's test that theory, shall we? Pallet, not hack sawable. Giant crate, not hack sawable. There's a chair up here. You know, I'm wasting calories and tiredness to check this for you. Chair, not hack sawable. Wooden planks, not hacksawable. The hacksaw is actually designed for metal. You can hacksaw apart a metal shelf. Can't hacksaw bricks. What a world we live in. It's the metal chairs. <laughs> yes, there are some quite rare metal chairs. I think you see them over in Black Rock more often. But yes, metal chairs you can hacksaw since it's a metal hacksaw. Apparently those exist. Alright, give me that water. I... I normally do not like doing this. This is the most inefficient use of uh, heat and time and everything, really. But water is very important for our thirsty, thirsty shepherd. I'm thirsty again. So let's drink a whole load of water. It's going to make me nice and light. We're going to take a nap until it's quite late on in the day, place down our goodies, and get out of here. It is time to get moving. We need to go and transition all the way from here over to... Uh, concept in Coastal Highway, I believe. Hey, look, another chair that we can't hack, so. Did I miss something here? No, no, it's just couped over bits and bobs from the table. Need to get some burnables on my way, though. I'm struggling on the burnables. There we go, so these will dry out here. Uh, I will take the rabbit pelt and the sapling with me, though. I don't think those are meaningful things to come back to. I even put them on the table here, make it e uh, make it easier to notice. Boy, that is not noticeable and dark, is it? How about this table? I'm wasting time here. This is a mistake. Hopefully I notice all these nice things. If I had the Steam Notes thing, I'd be using that, but I don't. Right, anyway, anyway, anyway. Let us take a nap for... Two hours and then get moving. Two hours? Yeah, it's pretty important to be well rested in this difficulty. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, the game has a built-in note feature, but the game doesn't pause when you're writing those notes, and I really don't like burning time in menus in this game. If it paused for the note screen, it'd be a different story altogether. Right, rabbit pelts don't stink. And I want that birch sapling, but I'll leave the painkillers and the guts. Guts are something you always need in the game. So those I don't mind coming back for. The rabbit pelt, on the other hand, because it doesn't smell, I'm happy to take it with me. 
Our inventory is quite light at only 13 kilograms, and I didn't miss anything. That's a whetstone that I don't need. Let's get moving. Oh, sweet mother of mercy. Let's reconsider. It's a blizzard. That blizzard could last for quite some time. I do have ways to warm up, but I still don't want to eat that blizzard. Blizzards also refresh beachcombing, though. Hmm. Don't like making not much progress. Mm hmm. You could alt tab and write the note and copy and paste it. Ooh. There's an idea. But I need an idea for this immediate problem. I was planning on traveling right now. Conditions are really, really freaking grim. I could I could travel, but I'm gonna get cold very fast and then take a lot of cold damage. And I'm not in a good position to suddenly swing back up into shelter. Uh, was I warm inside the Hibernia like this? I could stop in by Hibernia, make another fire, warm up, grab some more water and move along some more. I need to make progress, and sometimes that includes having to travel through blizzards, as unpleasant as it sounds. At least the matches give me the ability to make water and heat when and where I need it. I think we're going to go for it. I'm going to take damage, but uh, let's go for it regardless. Look at my heat go. I already regret my decision. But if I don't travel now, I could be waiting until night time. That comes with its own problems. Also, Shepard, for God's sakes, get a leg over. There we go. Let's get over to the edge so I can find any beachcombing goods, and then make my way around from there. Eyes peeled. Sometimes these things spawn really short notice on you. Gotta be very careful not to walk too far to the edge that I end up breaking through, though. If you walk so far to the edge, you don't even get a warning about it. Also gotta note the blizzard might overwhelm my audio senses and not notice that I'm breaking through the ice. Not seeing any beachcombed goods here. The blizzard is meant to refresh it, but truth be told, I don't know if it refreshes after or during the blizzard. This was a mistake. I am already putting my hands up and saying this is a mistake. I can't feel my hands. I didn't get turned around there, did I? I don't think I'm actually at the edge. In fact, there's Hibernia. This was so much a mistake. Let's just go to Hibernia. Hope I'm warm in there. Already lost a quarter of my fatigue? Holy moly. Okay, okay, let's, let's not kill ourselves like that. Let's instead take a nap. Let's take a non-aggression pact right now, Shepard. Slightly brighter in here, but... Yeah, making that pilgrimage was a sizable mistake. Bed is kind of hard to locate there. Take a... take a one-hour nap. The wiki says it's after the blizzard, then it might not be a worst idea to wait out the blizzard here. Alright, sounds calm outside already. Shame about my lack of warmth, but... Uh, maybe it's maybe it's really cleared up after all that. We can go and grab some beachcombed stuff. Consider starting a fire here to warm up, but I would really like to get moving. The hacksaw is a great enabler for some of the things I want to do. All right, look at that, nice and clear, and honestly, very warm. As long as we're, yeah, very very warm. Jeez, oh okay. Um, I want to maximize my beachcombing, but I want to go in the general direction of over there. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to leg it over there as much as we can, grab as much beachcombing stuff, and then we're going to go to Katie's secluded shelter. If we can make it that far without getting cold, I will not be afraid to start a fire on the way, although I lack fuel for the fire. don't want to waste coal. But we're going to be going through a coal mine. Maybe I shouldn't be so tight-fisted on the coal. Hey, a bunny. No, we don't need another bunny. Not yet, at least. 
Despite the deluge of matches we've come across, let us not forget to pay homage to this corpse. It giving us a an early bunch of matches was amazing. Because you never know if you're going to find more or not. We're still on that... Uh, well, I say still, it's only day two. But those matches helped us out big time. Because they gave me the confidence to go over and start a fire in Hibernia. Uh, in the Riken, rather than making my way over to Hibernia. Hibernia has guaranteed flares. I'm not sure if the matches are guaranteed. I feel like they are, but... I don't know the loot drops in this game inside out. I've got some general ideas based on experience, but that is all. Don't want to take this hypothermic damage. I probably should rest for another hour in Hibernia. If I'd known it was this warm, I would have. Hello, beachcombing goodies. But hang on, wasn't this corpse here before? Yeah, I remember this flayed out corpse. Perhaps it's a different corpse in exactly the same location somehow. Well, either way, there's nothing on it, although there are feathers. Always take feathers. They cost almost nothing in terms of carry weight, so you're not losing out by grabbing them. And you will eventually want them for making arrows. Despite being cold as sin, I'm not going to stop and make a fire here. I'm going to make it at hot... Um, I'm going to make it at Katie's secluded corner. However, there's a corpse here. I might change my mind, depending on what kind of corpse it is. I think it's only ever wolf corpses. And I'm not very interested in grabbing wolf meat right now, because it could give me parasites. Early parasites would end this run pretty lickety-spit. Uh, it is a wolf corpse. I will not be partaking. I will certainly be grabbing these feathers, though. Thank you. Was there any updates? No, not since the addition of the uh, toxic area. I forget the name of it. <laughs> okay, I don't know if they uh, cruise controlled cool or if it was an accident, but I can't see the rest of that question. Grab the chunk. There's usually good stuff in here. Cloth is not what I'd call good stuff. You can find some really good stuff like an aviator's helmet in there. Really good for warmth. But sadly, I, I really shouldn't complain about the beachcombing. It gave me a lot of calories. But you always want more. Whenever you get a random drop, you always think, oh, it could have been better. That's why I don't do stocks and shares anymore. I bought some stocks, doubled my money, and went, oh, that's good. But I could have sold later and made even more money. How can I regret something that ended up so well? well I don't know, but I found a way. Right, over here to Katie's secluded corner. I believe this is a possible spawn location on Interloper, but we didn't spawn here, and I don't think it would have benefited as much if we had. I'm going to make water and make some food delicious. I'm also going to be a little unhappy at how late and how late it's getting and how tired I am, but we're going to have to push through the tiredness. I just don't want to push through the coldness, so find the corpse. There is a corpse around here. Grab some sticks while we're at it. I lack sticks. Bunnykins can survive for now. Give a stick. Alright, this is what I want. Go over here, forget the hot key for starting a fire. It's four, okay. Go here against the wall and use the book. How much oil did you obtain from cooking the fish? Ooh, you know what? I completely forgot to check that. It is maybe possible that it was enough for a torch. I think I need... Uh, 100 milliliters of oil, but they give very small amounts. Anyway, we've got the torp, no, we've got the campfire in one go. I'm going to slam on one piece of coal, and that's going to warm me right up. There we go, no longer taking condition damage. Let's get ourselves making some much-needed water. We don't need this reindeer corpse to thaw out. We can just use our hacksaw immediately. So I'm going to... Oh yeah, man, it's so fast to get things with a hacksaw. Just give me literally all of the meat. You know, I don't think this animation adds anything to the game. I hope they introduce a way to turn it off. <laughs> I know that doesn't sound very nice, but I don't like it so much. Right, what's the bigger piece? Bigger piece goes on. Looks like we're going to be here for over an hour, but I need these calories. 
Normally, I would never dream of wasting so much time and resources on early game calories. I got no problem going full starvation mode early on. But with the difficulty settings as they are, the regaining of health is so low that it's very hard to justify. The guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Oh, big win! Ah, <laughs> we actually got ourselves a second little tin, so we can make yet more uh, water. Who would have thought a recycled can could spark so much joy, but it really, really does. Uh, these bunnies can live. I don't need their goods. Then again, their meat is practically free for me to take. It's just a question of time. Am I willing to spend the time doing that? I'm going to have to travel at night with very small amounts of shelter, and probably not shelter that's warm enough for me. So it's not a great proposition to waste my time grabbing their food. Besides, I have food that can last this journey. At least a wee bit. Can't eat raw oats. Clearly not Scottish enough. How are we doing on water? Eh, enough. Enough for me to take this and start cooking you. They'll both be done in about 40 odd minutes, so add another two sticks. That'll get both of you ready. So I'm free for about 40 minutes. What can I do in 40 minutes? I could actually saw apart one of these sticks for added firewood. Which might be unthinkable. Like who, who in God's name spends 10 minutes breaking apart a, one of these for sticks? But I am quite low on sticks. The thing is, sticks have become a little less valuable because I, I cannot liquidate them into torches anymore. So I might not spend that time. I might instead check and see if I can make this torch and, of course, max out my warmth. No point making a journey without maxed out warmth. The conditions are very nice right now. It's barely cold at all, and it's actually, it might even get a little bit warmer between now and dusk. So, without making that torch, I can! Would you look at that? I can make two torches! Oh my days, we are in the big win now. Absolutely make that torch. Then do we absolutely make a second torch? We absolutely do. This is amazing. Goodbye cloth, but hello torches. Actually, you make a very compelling argument about heating up my coffee. We've got a long way to go, and this coffee is no good to us if we end up dying before we enjoy it. So let's chow down on this venison. Get those calories up. I don't want to carry the raw meat with me. It's certainly not going to do me any favors. And the wolves can't smell your meat if it's in your belly. You become more of a kinder egg surprise to them. Okay. Uh, let's drink some, but not all of the water, because we'll also get some from this uh, this coffee. Which I will wait a little bit before drinking, but not too long. You know what, I might just drink it now. Mm, you know what, we might not need it. Depends how warm it is inside the... Oh Christ, where's my torch? There we go. Might be warm inside the mine, especially with a torch. Look at that, 100% condition torches. You do not see that often on my runs, because why would you ever spend all those resources crafting a torch when you can just take one for free from a fire? I believe this path takes me all the way to the other side. I hope you're not afraid of heights. Pro tip, if you, uh, if you have trouble going across high places, always look down. Always look down. Makes things easier. <laughs> I know that's not true, but I do like to mock those who cannot handle a wee bit of heights. Mock the weak, as they say. Huh. Is this actually descendable? It looks very not descendable, doesn't it? So, alright, just, just shimmy your way down, Shepard. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Ah, okay. Well, there goes my ankle. But I have a bandage, so it's not too bad. Will I use the bandage? You know what? I will use the bandage. In case a uh, wolf decides to jump me, I don't want to be in a grim situation for that. Don't break your other ankle now. The sides of the screen are going to look a little bit hazy. That's just because of Shepard's blinding pain. There we go. Back to spawn. Not bad. There are places I could explore yet. 
In fact, there are some very compelling arguments to go exploring some of the locations around here, but I will not. I need to kill and keep moving. Getting back to Conset is a big milestone in survival. So even though there was a stone ruined church and a mine full of coal and potentially other goodies... Oh man, it is full of goodies. Um, starting to doubt myself now. Now we're going to Conset. I'm also going to grab some lichen here. It can be made into an antiseptic. I think you need three. I'm certainly taking three. And some sticks. Some sticks. Glorious sticks. That coal is worth too much. I wouldn't skip the mine. Mm, well, decision has already been made. Besides, Cinder Hill Coal Mine is quite close anyway. Kind of. Oh, hello. Not only is there a stick, there's some rose hips. So warm in that canyon. You were warming up. Yeah. I gotta get moving. That's my main thing. I don't have a way to sleep. Um, at least not comfortably. Oh, hello, lamp fuel. That's even more torches. Excellent. Did anyone see how much lamp fuel it was? I don't want to pause and check, because the timer won't stop for me. Alright, eyes peeled for coal. Coal, get... I appreciate that Von Dougals was thinking long term there, right? It is true, if you pick up coal in a coal mine, that starts the respawn timer for it bringing more coal. But by the time I ever return here, I'm going to be safe. Right? There is no way in which I come back here and I'm still fighting for my life. It's that Frostpunk problem, right? Oh, but this will this will make your automatons better. If I have automatons, I'm probably fine. I'm more concerned with my immediate survival, and my immediate survival needs me to make some distance. Von Dougals is telling me to take limit breaks so that I can scale my strength later on in my run of Slay the Spire. But I am currently looking at Shrug It Off, thinking I need a block option right now because I am about to fight Guardian, and I have found Diddly for block. Just to make allusions to several other games, so that no matter what your gaming menu or your gaming diet, you can appreciate the decision that I'm making. You don't have to agree with it, but you must appreciate it. <laughs> oh man, I have too much fun in life. Okay, it was warm in here. I think I was right not to drink my coffee when it was hot. If the need arises, I can warm it up later. Plenty of coal here. You can check my weight at the bottom right, another addition to Von Dougal's amazing quality of life mod. I shouldn't advertise it too much. He doesn't want to support it for the masses. But it is really good, so I'm going to say it's really good. I don't know who ever uses the workbenches in here. It's too dark. You'd need to have a light going to use them, so you're burning oil whilst also doing your crafting? I, I don't see the logic. That actually makes sense, the tools you have in the top left is about power gain, not just supplies, precisely. Your very first couple of days is about immediate survival, but beyond that you need to balance survival against power gain. Because once you gain enough power, it's no longer a question of survival. If you have a bow and a hacksaw, and the ability to make fire, be that a mag lens or a huge amount of torches or a good condition fire striker, survival isn't a question. You can always start a fire, make some water, hunt an animal, even just a rock. If you don't have bone out, you can just use rock, although that's less secure because rabbits are very low calorie food options. But right now, eh, darting from shelter to shelter, gotta maintain my bottom left uh, counters. It is getting dark, I'm very glad to have this torch. I got a lot of coal. Perhaps too much coal. It's going to start weighing me down, and that's going to start being a problem. We're not going over to Coastal Highway just yet. Uh, where are my burnables? Here they are. There's no way I need 28 bits of coal, but coal is good. I'm going to drop 12 bits of coal here just to lighten my load. I'm also going to drop my torch. This might seem a little weird. Drop the torch, then leave. What I want to do is make sure it's not blowing with wind like mad, and it is not. That's good. Now, we can get moving. It's impossible to have too much coal. 
Uh, coal is great, but there is an amount that is too much coal, and that amount is so much that you cannot navigate a risk. And with wolves set to very high, there are risks all over the place, and all it takes is one strong gust of wind to blow out my beloved torch. That or me misclicking extinguish torch. It can happen. I was watching somebody stream this game not too long ago, and they tried to open a car door and instead extinguish their torch. I was laughing, they were not. Which is a pretty great deal for me, because then I get to laugh even more. Alright, quick check inside this week cave. An opportunity to start a fire if I wanted to. I don't, because I'm currently quite warm, and I don't need to warm up my coffee. The sun is setting. You, I don't want to waste burning time making torches. Torches don't last very long in this game. As you can see, this 100% torch is already pretty much dead. Do I want to maintain my torch? Yes, I do. It's too dangerous going through what's about to turn quite dark. So I will maintain the torch. And just keep on keeping on. I'm not running, because that would zero my stamina very quickly. I'm going to stop in quickly by the burnt-out house over here, but my goal is to make my way over to Conset and then sleep there, which means I cannot afford many diversions. Unless it's quick and easy and on the way like that cave. If anything was in that cave, it would be lying out in the open for me. And indeed, we got some firewood. Not great. Probably not worth the time, really, but could have been better stuff in there. It was worth checking. That car, for example, it's going to take too long. I'm not going to check the car. The odds of a car having anything good for you are pretty low. There can be gloves, sure. Uh, there can be matches, which are amazing, but, but it's all rather rare. More likely you go in there, you spend a wee while, you find nothing. This I'm going into because there can be really good stuff in here. There can be some uh, thermal undies inside the washing machine or tumble dryer over there. So I use alternate interact. I don't. It messes with my muscle memory too much. That's a me problem. All right, come on, thermal underwear, keep me nice and warm. No, come on, thermal underwear, keep me nice and warm. Oh, well, this was a bum choice. Got absolutely diddly in here. But at least we know. And also, it's worth noting that it is warm enough in there for me to survive. However, I don't have a sleeping bag, so I cannot sleep there. I would just be sitting there, uh, tiring myself out and taking active condition damage from the tiredness. I've never found anything inside one of these mailboxes. That doesn't change today. I think on lower difficulty you can find bullets in there. Mail order ammo for your cunning Canadian. I, I don't know. I'm not into guns and I'm not into Canadians. <laughs> well, I used to be. Yeah, there was spray paint lying there. I almost never pick up spray paint because I don't see any use for it. It was very cute watching Baron play this game, and he would spray paint the door of every house that he checked to tell himself he checked there. It was no doubt a clever thing to do for keeping that stuff in track, but I, I did find it quite quite cute, because it's not something I think any experienced player would, uh, would do. And it's always nice to see someone new to a game doing things that you're like, oh, I, I used to do that. Not in a demeaning way, not at all, I don't mean to be derisive about it. Uh-oh, I mean to be derisive about this, though. Goddamn wind blowing out my torch. Uh, so now... Actually, that's no wind, that's a blizzard. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, mixed fates on that one. At least I think it's a blizzard. It can be hard to tell at times. Um, sure, it's going to make my walk towards Conset unpleasant. On the plus side, if we can consider it that, no wolves are going to spawn, and it's a fairly linear route. But it's not a short linear route. So I am going to get cold. Good thing water can't freeze on your person while you're doing this. Genuinely hard to tell if this is a blizzard or not. I'm going to quickly duck into this car. Look at that. We, we would almost be warm sleeping in this car. You can rest in a car and get a slight warmth bonus, but the temperature is actually falling pretty fast, telling me that yes, this is a blizzard. You don't suffer any wind chill when you're inside a car, but you do still suffer the outdoor chill, right? Safe in the knowledge that this is indeed a blizzard, and it's blowing against us, I am still going to go to Conset. I could get frostbite on my hands, and I can't afford to run because I don't have the energy for it. 
But Conset is such a big gain for us. I'm going to walk my way there. I'm going to hug the wall on the right, or the stones on the right. That icon at the top indicates that you are safe from wind. No wind chill, or at least barely any wind chill. And that's important so that I can move faster and uh, take less cold damage. Yeah, I don't like using the wind meter. I don't know, I just I don't like seeing it. I think it takes away from information that you have in the game. I can look at the snow or the trees to determine the wind. I don't want to have a UI element for it. It's not like having my weight element in the bottom right, because I'd have to go into my menu and check that. Alright, we are now very cold. We are just about to be cold and thirsty. You're going to notice my condition bar, which is the big white bar in the bottom left. Take a nosedive. All the while, my hypothermic risk is building up. Very glad I fixed my sprain, but I'm not very glad that this is actually quite a long walk to Conset. And running straight into a blizzard is really, really draining. Coastal Highway never feels that big until you're stuck in a blizzard trying to get to your destination. So yes, I am paying up front for this. I'm also moving slower because I'm so tired that the... Uh, the goods that I carry with me, despite dropping all that coal, are too much for me. I try to explain just about everything I'm doing and thinking regarding this game, because there's a lot going on. There's a lot to think about. If you don't know the game, I'm sure it's good to get some understanding on it. And if you do know the game, it's probably good to know why am I doing something that you wouldn't do. That's just my guess, at least. Okay, I, can't, I really can't afford to run, but I swear the game knows where you're trying to go at times and blows the wind directly at you. Trying to hug the wall here to minimize my exposure to the wind. That frostbite risk is bad. Frostbite is a permanent affliction. You will permanently lose maximum health. That's not that bad, honestly, but it feels like a mark of failure on you. And there is there's no way to get rid of it outside of using console commands. Which I do know exactly how to do, but I don't anticipate using any console commands for this run, outside of the game somehow bugging out. I would show off the console, but I can't afford to waste even a moment on my way towards Conset. Uh, Conset is the name of a petrol station along this road. It's a very, very nice shelter. The only real downside I would say for it is that it's quite out of the way. I'm going to take a very quick drink. And you know what? I'm going to drink that coffee. I need the extra energy boost to get me over to Conset. Fatigue recovery. And that gives me uh, the extra ability to hold things and it allows me just to run a bit better. That coffee is ultimately going to save me a good amount of health. Could even save my life or frostbite risk if things get really out of hand. I need to find a place to rest. Yeah, would you trust a cook with nine fingers? <laughs> That's good. So drinking coffee gives you an immediate boost to your energy and also makes your energy drain slower. Uh, it would have been nicer if that coffee were hot. Oh, I could have put it in the thermos. I didn't even think of that. I don't have the thermos um, integrated into my head because I've never used it before. Also, I wouldn't be surprised if some of my clothes are starting to freeze now. And because it's so hard to see, I don't have any good idea of how close I am to uh, Conset. Okay, I'm very close to Conset. Excellent. That burned out house tells me exactly where I am. And that hazy mirage in the distance is concept. Let's get in there, Shepard. Please stop freezing your little nubby bits off. Don't need any of that. Give me in. Oh, there we go. We are barely warm in here and we cannot see in here. Uh, but we're very, very tired, so we're going to be sleeping the day away anyway. I have enough water and potentially enough food to do that. And I've spent a long time in Conset. I know the layout of this place like the back of my arse. The bed is here. So, 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 so. I know you're, I know you're impressed by my navigation skills there. It's okay. It's all right to say so. Um, I think I'll eat some of my food. I can always sleep off the food poisoning if it somehow poisons me. Let's eat this raggedy old bag of crisps. Let's eat the... I don't, don't want to eat that rusty tomato soup without cooking it. I'll eat the stale beef jerky as well. 
going to eat. Mm, I don't think I eat any of the rest of this stuff, but I'll certainly drink up. I played a fair bit of this game, but I honestly know concept better from watching you than from playing. Oh, you're too kind. All right, hold on, am I taking cold damage? I am cold, but the bed will warm me up enough. Like I said, I can sleep for eight hours on a full stomach of water. It's ten on interloper. <laughs> and it's much more on not interloper, but it is only eight on ultra loper. Grab another quick drink. And we've actually woken up during an aurora. That allows me to check the computer file here. Wow, that blinking is horrible. Let's look at it some more so we can all enjoy that. Ugh. Uh, Alright, you know, if I can see here, I might as well get to a bit of work. Uh, there's usually something under the bed. It's a little too dark to see. Come on, there's... Ah, there we go. Recycled can. That would be good if I didn't already have one. But yeah, let's get searching while the going is good. Yeah, of course I spent so much time here. This is the only indoor place allowed in my outer loper run. It has the workbench, it has a bed, it is generally warm. It's minus five degrees in this part, but honestly, even early game, you should be able to overcome minus five degrees. And if you have the cold fusion perk unlocked, then you can almost get it for free. Cold fusion raises your core body temperature by two degrees. With no downsides, it is, I would say, the best perk in the game. They're not called perks, what are they called? Feats, that's it. But uh, I don't play with feats because feats are for jumps. And then you might go, oh, but you used feats those one, that one time. Yes, I did. The exception that proves the rule, Your Honor. That probably makes no sense in context. It's something me and my friend used to say whenever we wanted to uh, very much put down someone. There we go. Well, I strongly recall winning that challenge. There's a basin with barely any water. I'm gonna leave it there just for posterity. That water will never come back if you take it. Cloth for future torches. We did find the lamp oil. Not a lot of it, but enough to make the difference. So the aurora is a geomagnetic thing that happens in this game. I won't claim to understand it very well, but it makes energy things... It makes electrical devices power up. Because otherwise, all the electrical devices were blown. This stuff will come oh, hello! It took some time, but we got ourselves a sewing kit. That enables a few things, especially making myself a pair of gloves, which we will be doing post-haste. I can't afford to hang around here for very long. It's a great shelter, but it won't be great forever. Dusting salt around the back here. Virtually useless. Sometimes you can find something fancy underneath these tires. I've found a hacksaw around here before. Not today, it seems. Another book. I'm happy to burn that but I'm happy to burn all books. Skill books I do not put a high value on. The only skill book I think is worth reading is the sewing book, because it's incredibly slow to level that up. Maybe a fishing book to get the initial fishing levels. Wow, Conset is dry. The amount of resources here are pathetic. Although it's possible they are here and I just don't see them. I can with my name on them. Ooh, a couple of granola bars. Don't mind if I do. i got to get it out of my head that I'm going to be coming here all the time. Soda on the floor. I think that's just a decorative, crunched-up piece of soda. Yep, there we go. Sorry, Victor Therion. I think you're going to need to replace those faulty eyes of yours, for they are inferior to my own. All right, definitely taking all that water. Water is proving to be a bit of a choke point, so gimme, gimme, gimme. There might be some things on these shelves that I can't see because of the lack of light, but I just wanted to get exploration done whilst the aurora was going rather than burning daylight. Even so, I'm actually going to go out a bit more. I will store some goods here, though, that I don't think I'll be using for some time, because there's a good chance I'll be back here in the future. People ask me why I do this, but... I like to make sure that I have a small amount of matches in every main... Well, in every really good location. That means if I come staggering here half dead with somehow no matches left, I can pick up these matches, start a fire, make some water, cook something up, and sleep away my injuries. It's just future-proofing because no way do I need 28 matches and all these flares right now. I mean, I'm going to leave a flare. Oh, what else do I want to leave behind here? I uh, definitely want to keep a stim on me. Mm, 
can't imagine needing these banged up bits of um, of tomato soup right now. So this is just a cache for future me. And I don't want all these oats. I'm going to save my oats for cooking in the late game when we're making all the dishes for the different locations. I don't I don't like wasting them on food for myself. It's not necessary. Otherwise, I do not need all these cans. Two cans is plenty. Although I'd rather have pots and things. And nobody in the right mind needs ten stones. Tell you what. Here, I'm going to shove some stones in the register so if... Uh, I don't know, if a child comes along, they can play with that and imagine they have loads of money. I certainly did plenty of imagining I had loads of money as a child. Because imagination's all I had on that front. Righto, righto. Aurora means Aurora Wolves, so let's not overstay our welcome here. Aurora Wolves are not spooked by almost anything. They are spooked by having a flare shot in their face. I don't have a flare gun, and that would be an egregious waste of a flare. Well, it wouldn't, actually. If it saves your life, it's never a waste, right? Pop the hood. Search the trunk. Could really do with a crowbar to enable some more uh, intimate searching. There's an eerie beauty to the auroras in this game. Look at that. But don't look at it too long, because we've got things to do. I need to find out. Did I just hear a wolf? I need to be careful. Yes, I did, and it's stalking me. I'll tell you what, I will break its aggro just by entering and exiting. And I'm going to exit crouched. When you're crouched, uh, animals have a, a poorer vision on you. Be wary of timber wolves, though. Timber wolves are not so easily befuddled. They will not break aggro so easily. If you enter a uh, a car, they're just going to circle your car until you get out. If you enter a building, they'll still be there when you leave. Timberwolves are incredibly dangerous. I have no plans of entering Timberwolf territory until I have some good clothing and a bow. I was terrified that people were going to spawn me in Bleak Inlet, honestly. Bleak Inlet has Timberwolves. They are about as fun as a toothache. Why am I coming over here? It's too dark. I hope the lights are on inside. Okay, I can kind of barely see. The main reason I actually came in here was to tear down the curtains if I could. Yeah, there we go. Um, it's kind of bright. But I'm certain I would overlook something, so I'm not actually interested in, uh, in fully looting this area right now. That said, the sun's coming up. Oh, that makes my life easier. Cool. Then I'm going to do some looting in the immediate vicinity of Conset now. And then... Just grabbing loads of cloth because I need them for torches. Um, and then I'm going to sleep until the afternoon or late afternoon when the world is at its warmest. And then I'm going to make my move. How is it getting darker in here? The sun's meant to be coming up. It's now pitch black in here. How the heck did that happen? Okay, okay. Can I make a torch at least? There we go. We only have enough lamp oil to make one more torch, but these torches are of vital importance, so I have no problem using, not wasting, my vital ingredients on them. There we go. The indoor lighting in this game leaves a bit to be desired when, you know, it's, it's very bright outside, but for some reason that's totally pitch black on the inside. There's a very funny downfall edit all about uh, developer decisions of the long dark. With Herr Führer defending decisions like pitch black outside whilst Goebbels is telling him that it's just insane. Man, why did downfall posting uh, run out of steam? It was always funny. I think the devs changed something about animals and entering houses, meaning when you enter a location, animals can reset their position or even despawn. I have not played much on this build. In fact, majority of my on this build playing has now been on this run so little mannerisms like that fly over my head I don't think the devs actually change those things on purpose I think they they keep making changes to the game but it keeps having knock-on effects that they don't anticipate I appreciate that that's not always easy to find we had plenty of issues like that in paradox so many people convinced we were making these stealth changes that they didn't want us to know about it no 
No, it is unforeseen consequences. Occasionally somebody changes something and forgets to put it in the change log. But uh, as time went on, we had more and more rigorous things to ensure that all changes were accompanied with a commit message. But some people are still cowboys. Oh, God. I have... Uh, well, I'm sure I have had, but my immediate instinct is I've never had so many matches so early on in a run. The somewhat unfortunate thing is that mm, every additional box of matches I get are actually less important than the ones preceding it. Your first box of matches is so important. Your second box of matches is a glorious uh, comfort, something to fall on if you end up burning too many. Your third box of matches is just like, uh, okay, I mean, I've got plenty. And your fourth is just like, ugh. Do I need more of these? And by the time you find your fifth, you, you probably don't really need matches anymore. anymore. Herbal tea! Very powerful. If you drink herbal tea before you go to sleep, you will gain a lot more condition back. And on a run that is pretty rough on condition, we're going to be wanting that. Good lord, I still have frostbite risk. I need some... Uh, I need some gloves. I'm going to make some gloves while I'm here just to get rid of that frostbite risk. It's too dangerous. What can I say? I know my game, Victor. Plus, I would have been mortified if I died quick and easy. Actually, I'd be mortified if I died, period, because... Uh, he doesn't seem so crazy right now. Well, you know how it is. It's one thing to play a game, it's a completely different thing to play it on stream, even if you know the game. That's why I always encourage people, uh, especially in this community, even if they haven't streamed or don't have much interest in it, give it a go, right? If nothing else, you're going to appreciate the difference between playing a game that you know inside out and playing it under pressure in front of an audience. I assure you it's a different experience. Right, just to get rid of that risk, I'm going to make some infrared hand wrap. This is part of the reason why I tore down every piece of cloth here, and part of the reason that I was so enamored with finding a sewing kit. You wouldn't be able to make this without it, so gib. I shudder at the thought of Nancy Drew. You don't have to, Worm. You already did your time in the Nancy mines. I'd never force somebody to do another run of Nancy, but I might add a little bit of soft pressure. I'm even making the hat. The hat gives a surprising amount of insulation given it's just a bunch of torn up bits of cloth. It's going to outperform one of these scarves. In fact, this scarf blocks half a degree of wind chill. This improvised thing also does a half, but the thing is I want this uh, I want this improvised head wrap to take a bunch of condition damage and I don't want this nice wool scarf to take it. Uh, whoops, no, not harvesting. Please wear the thing. There we... wait, what? Something... something didn't add up there. I think I clicked on the wrong box. What the... What the... Okay, there we go. There we go. So the head wrap is on the outside, meaning it takes the brunt of the condition damage from wind and snow and blizzarding and that. And the wool scarf will stay in good condition on the inner side. I know visually that doesn't make any sense, but mechanically, it does. Do I want to take a nap while I'm here? Not really. I want to nap back at Conset. Just want to make sure that I pick this place clean and then move on. Still can't use my hacksaw to tear apart these chairs. Still can't use my hacksaw. Alright, we check this place inside out. Shame about the lack of can opener. You can find one inside uh, houses like this. But the, the Aurora has passed, so the Aurora Wolves have also passed. Oh my god, what a lovely day. Holy smokes, it's going to be criminal to sleep through this, but I'm going to have to sleep. Ooh, well, that is very nice. Marine Flare get. Marine Flares are, to most people, worse than regular Flares. And I agree, they are worse. But there's a very critical difference that... Actually, I won't pop your hood because the, the back thing hasn't been checked yet. I need a crowbar for that. When dealing with timber wolves, the marine flare is so much better. It terrifies the wolves, so they tend to break morale and then run away a lot easier. Alright, I need to think about my actual course from here. Wow, that wolf noticed me from a country mile away, and he's got a buddy over there. The correct thing to do is leg it! There we go. Um, even though the conditions are great... I still am tempted to take a nap. Forgot to put your gloves on. Well spotted. I have indeed forgotten to wear my gloves. Oop. 
nice and toasty. That must be so uncomfortable to wear. But we got six degree bonus, so we're even warm inside the colder part of concept. Just gonna double check that I have checked everything. It's slightly lighter inside, so a bit easier to see things that I may have missed. It always ends up being things you've missed though, just don't beat yourself up about it too much. Wires, for example, who could possibly need those? See, Shepard's already- Oh, well now, look at that! Quality tools, I don't even need to bother with regular crummy tools, we've got the quality ones. Uh, that allows us to fix things up and it enables a few things. It's not a big enabler, so it doesn't go in my top left uh, bar of items. Maybe it should. I'll consider adding it later on, but then... Nah, maybe not. Uh, right, righty-tighty. Conditions are great, but I am tired. Hmm. Conditions are really good. I don't want to pass this up. My food condition a little less good. These tin of sardines could actually make me sick. I'm going to leave them. The odds are very low, but they're higher than I want them to be. So let's leave that for future shepherd. I did check all the shelves here, right? Oh, perhaps not. Some cooking oil. Gonna go well with those oats. A Scott loves cooking with oil and oats, but he would love more to cook with suet and oats. So I don't mean to speak for my entire peoples, but uh, surely I'm right in doing so. What am I thinking here? I have options. I like carrying crackers on me. It's a great emergency source of food. Um, I might just eat all my chocolate bars and head on out and do some... Um, yeah, actually, good idea, good idea. Let's prepare to move already. We're not going to be hanging around here. I don't think I left anything behind, but I also don't think I checked all of these, did I? We're going to move out. We're going to head on south. We're going to beachcomb and take ra uh, refuge in one of the two islands with a house on it. And that'll be where we sleep the night away. I don't, I don't mind getting extremely tired tonight if it enables that kind of high movement. Didn't check this note left behind. We'll take that. All this is checked, checked, checked. All right, let's gather up all of our th Oh! I knew it. I knew it. Great. Uh, I don't think I'm going to eat. I don't mind taking a little bit of starvation damage now because I'm a lot more capable of dealing with it. But let's, for now, drink up a little bit. I guess I will leave myself behind a small amount of water. Again, this is just, if I come back here desperate, have some basic supplies for me. And we're going to head out. Alright, holy moly, no wind, clear skies. Okay, well there's minus five degrees of wind, it's not, it's not swelteringly hot, but the conditions are great, so let's get a move on. I'm going to check the house down here, I'm going to make my way along the coast, I'm going to beach comb. And we really need to come up with a game plan. Where in the world are we going? What's how? What's our ticket? Our immediate concern is not getting the um, the cooking done. We don't even have the cooking skill or the recipes to get that all done. But here is the map of the world. We start in Desolation Point. We worked our way along Crumbling Highway, and now we are in Coastal Highway. From here, we could head on up to Pleasant Valley. Which does enable us going to Timberwolf Mountain, Ash Canyon, and getting the backpack. Now that is a very tempting offer. Alternative is we go along the ravine, we go to Mystery Lake, which is full of resources. And will probably get us what we need to go to Forlorn, then Broken Railroad, and do some forging. So would we rather forge, or would we rather get the backpack? Um, that's a difficult choice. Both are great enablers. Hmm. Hmm. That's a very difficult choice. Chat, what do you think? Pleasant Valley, Timberwolf, Ash Canyon, or Ravine, Mystery Lake, Muskeg Railroad? Allie and Von Dougals both insist that we take the back pack first. Hmm. That is compelling. Let's go for the backpack. It's also, of the two, the more dangerous route to take. Let's steal this potato. Ooh, some cooked rabbit flesh. I could maintain well-fed. Have to make the call right now if I want to go for well-fed. I will not, because I have a lot of traveling to do right now. And it's just going to eat into my calories if I run around a lot. So well-fed bonus is going to have to wait. I will probably want well-fed around the time that I get to Trash Canyon, though. Die if I don't get some 
plenty of natural resources to enjoy there. As uh, From now on, though, I'm going to be taking condition damage. But I am choosing to do so because I think it is the stronger choice. And remember, compared to Interloper, we, we lose our uh, thirst and our energy so much faster. Our fatigue meter and our thirst meter both plummet like mad. Also, I am going to be an absolute niggard regarding the curtains here. Cloth is going to be very important for making all the torches, so whilst the going is good, I'm taking them. The going will not be so good when I get to other regions like Timberwolf and Ash Canyon. Not a lot of cloth to be had there. Mountain Town would be another good destination, but only because it's an easy location, not because it's a great enabler. Uh, Hush River Valley, however, is past Mountain Town. You have to go through Mountain Town to get to Hush River. And Hush River contains lots of very useful things. It's got the bedroll, uh, usually has a, ha a heavy hammer. It can be a nightmare to navigate, though. It's not an easy place to find your way around. There's a detrimental effect via scurvy for starving yourself. There's always been a detrimental effect to starving. It can lower your maximum uh, stamina and such. Hello, second pair of jeans. Jeans are relatively warm. What's the better condition jeans that I have anyway? Well, neither of them block um, wind damage, so I'll just wear the nicer jeans on the inside so they stay nicer for longer. And then we hope we find something like... Uh, I think they're called cargo trousers, or military trousers. Really good outer layer. Grab that for potential tinder. Absolutely chug that toilet water. We're taking it out of the cistern, not out of the bowl. We're not savages. I think I'll leave some of this cloth. How much cloth do I have, anyway? Fourteen. Takes two for a torch. And take one more batch. Also need it for repairs, which will be worth considering. Uh, sounds like it's gotten windy outside, which is not ideal. So much for the low variance on wind and weather. I feel like I'm playing on high variance right now. Also no pot. It's a shame. Would have been really nice to find a pot around here. But out we go, go. Oh, wow. Good lord. What a lovely day. All right, let's make hay while that proverbial sun is shining. Since I'm already starving, there's no big deal to running around a whole lot. There's a house over there, but also a house over there. So I want to make my way across and then beachcomb my way around. I won't be checking all of Coastal Highway this way, but I'll be checking enough. And I'll be doubling back up to get to Cinder Hills, which is actually a bit of a shame to make a decision to go over along this way. Do I hear the wind? I thought I heard a distant howling of wind. Hmm. Anyway, anyway. I plan on sleeping regardless. Let's make our way forward. <laughs> I've got a direct message from someone who has this awful Family Guy-esque profile picture. Can someone like, spam me with DMs just to get it off of there? <laughs> it's probably a... Um, it's probably a menu for the game, so I do appreciate it, but man. That is some picture. I can see the bear, and I know you can see the bear. Alright, check this. Wow, nothing in here. Brutal. The bear is not a big deal. To some degrees, the bear is even good, because he uh, he scares off wolves. But you cannot fob off a bear with a simple flare or uh, torch. Good thing you got some new trousers. Lord Barrington needs a new pair. <laughs> Alright, I'm actually... He's right in the way of block... I don't know if you can ascend this. Can you ascend this? I don't think you can. It looks monstrously steep. I'm getting dangerously close to Lord Barrington. Do I loot his home? He won't like this, but... Uh... There we go. I just stole his book on uh, preparing rabbits. Oof, oof. That was way too close for comfort. 
when he gets mad, he gets up on his hind legs and starts uh, chasing you down. And from there on, unless you're next to uh, a way to evade him, like jumping into a car, you have got to throw down a fire to spook him or shoot him with a flare. Or else you are... Uh, you are rub-a-dub-dub-grub. And you don't want to be. Well, I don't want to be. Don't mind running a fair bit. I plan on sleeping in here. Because... Well, just look at how tired I am. Oh, Jesus Christ! I don't know if the wolf knows that I'm here, but let's be ready. Gotta warm up somehow. I don't think I've ever seen a wolf this close to this house. Alright, we're safe, we're safe. Get in, get in. Oh boy, that was rough positioning. We made it though. Absolutely made it. Absolutely shattered as well. We're going to uh, immediately just sleep for a couple hours. Get warm. Get a bit of energy going through our bones. Uh, I'm going to eat this rabbit. Maybe not all the rabbit though. Just enough to sleep off a couple of hours. Drink a little bit just in case. Probably should have had the summit soda really. Exactly, Theron. Never seen a wolf here. This might be a spawn for wolves that's only on stalker difficulty. Because I'm playing with stalker level wolves, which is actually more wolves than interloper. Alright, there we go. It's still daylight, we're less tired, let's continue searching. I can't wait to have a lantern so I'm not at the mercy of limited torches to light up areas. This is hard to see in. It's hard for me, I'm assuming it's at least a little bit challenging for you. I play with my monitor brightness at 20% for this game. It's high for me. Uh, I have a lot of water. I'm still going to take more water. Every last drop of it from here. No good reason not to. We need to drink a lot. Stands to reason. Don't want to get chapped lips out here. Are you carrying a rabbit? I'm not carrying anything that smells. No rabbit, no meat. Oh, crumbs. I am carrying rabbit pelt, and I completely forgot to drop it in Conset. Hmm. And I forgot to drop my sapling. Huh. I need to drop those things. I don't really want to drop them here, but... I guess I will. I'll just try and remember that these are here. I will be back to this uh, general area once I come back from uh, hitting up the... Yoink. Hitting up the gold mine in Ash Canyon. Still knackered. Could still sleep a little longer, but I do want to. I don't want to check out the beach combing. Apparently, I've got a load of stuff. How did I end up with so much stuff? I'll ditch it and go beach combing. Ah, but the wolf is right there. I actually don't want to hang around here of all places. I drink pretty much all I can then, lighten my load a touch, and then just generally get moving a little bit. Okay, conditions are still amazing. And there is another house over on that uh, poorly processing hill over there. And would you look at that, there's another trunk on the ice, so I want to go and check that out. The wolf is chasing, I assume, a rabbit. Don't break your ankles coming down here, Shepard, despite being overweight. All right, all right. God, I wish I had more coffee for this. But the fact that I'm warm and it's clear and it's not windy is all making it pretty much perfect conditions for going beach combing here. There is a corpse over there. I don't know what it's a corpse of. Uh, human would be good, because at least I could search it. I don't think I'd make use of any other kind of corpse right now. Uh, I think that is human. It's a little far away. I won't take my chances with it. Alright, beachcomb while we can. Check out the general vicinity. Sleep. And then keep on grooving. This will come in handy. That was a great find. Nice jacket. 
There is a house over there, right? On that on that island. There's a chance I'm getting mixed up in the houses further back, but I don't think I'm wrong. We're definitely slowing down a lot. We are 12 kilograms over capacity, mostly because we're so tired. I think there's ptarmigans over there. Ptarmigans are bunnies. But there is a corpse. I'll check the corpse. Not too worried about going slow or starving or even taking condition damage because it only feels like minus four and that's tops off weather. My main concern is getting jumped by a wolf, but even then, not only do I have... Well, I've got more flares than I want. Uh, yeah, i got torches and flares to scare him off with. A minor thing, Dougals, but uh, I know when you radial menu into a torch, it chooses the lowest one. Could it also be set to choose the lowest one when you hit the number one key? Because that's usually my, uh, my gut reaction, is to hit number one when confronted with a wolf. And if hitting number one pulls out a torch, like most conditions, I'd want it to be the, uh, the crummiest torch I have. Then again, at the moment, I am spoilt for fire starters with all the flares that I've got. I had trouble getting that to work. I suspected you would have thought of it already. But yes, long dark modding and trouble. What a duo. Why do they hate modding so much? Why do they hate their own game so much? <laughs> Maybe it's not the game. Maybe it's the players. Alright, when I played Outer Loper, I counted these as allowed. And as I recall, when I was talking about it, I said, they're allowed because the, heat, the air temperature doesn't change inside them. And then I get inside and it does change. And then I went, oh, well, they're still allowed. <laughs> I think uh, quite a few players don't actually know that some... I think the ones with doors improve air temperature on the inside. Very strict outer lopers would not approve of using these anyway. Some of them aren't even happy to climb inside cars or caves. Okay, I am now 15 kilograms overweight. I must take a good long sleep. And I really need to triage my belongings as well. I shouldn't be carrying around so much coal. I should have dumped some at Conset. It's actually tempting to double back to Conset, actually, since I'm going towards Pleasant Valley. But I really wanted to get some beach combing in, because you can find some amazing things like... Worn ski jackets. 53% condition is fine percent condition. I might even repair that this evening. That jacket's coming with me for a long time, I reckon. When you use a radial, do you use space? Yes, yeah, space. The thing is, I've got all the other stuff muscle memory, and space is just such a go-to for it. Okay, you know, there is a slight chance that I run into Wolfiekin around here. It happened on the other island, it might happen here. The islands have different names. One's called Jack Rabbit, and I forget the name of the other one. Fortunately, there's no accidental left clicking to, t to light your torch, because on this mode, it asks you to confirm what kind of fire starter you want to use, regardless how many fire starters you have. The ultimate quality of life mod. Hello, hello, goodies for me. There's a few. Look at look at that spawn distance. I must have been about 15 meters away from it, and then it spawned. Not even 15. 10 meters, maybe. This game has some very weird spawn logic for um, for beach combing. I am quite convinced you can look at the beach, turn around, turn back, and things will spawn. Come on, more clothes. Ooh, well, I don't need jeans. Keep those around, maybe to tear apart for spare cloth. Actually, I don't think it's worth the wait. Anyway, anyway, I will be... Oh, light bit of snow, wind picking up a little bit. I'll be checking out this and then going up there and sleeping. Try holding one, okay. And I'm holding one. Releasing, holding it again. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Okay, the weather is turning. I'm still warm enough that this doesn't present a problem, even if it suddenly blizzards me. But I am slow enough for it to make me very much keep in mind my position. Something I love about this game is how immersive it is. And I'm not just talking about the 
visuals and the sound design and the chattering of Shepard. It's immersive because at all times you are thinking about your survival and thinking about the things going on around you. It has this way of taking complete control of your mind. I'm always thinking wind, temperature, weather, body heat, tired, capacity for carrying things. Where was the last time I saw uh, a wolf or a bear? Can I hear them? So many games fail to suck me in like this. There's, there's a lot of games that I can just have idling to the side. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I got my running game of Avori on it. It's just like, yeah, okay. Relaunch those ships to go and check out for goods again and order this attack. And, you know, I don't, I don't have to think so much about it. But with this, I'm almost scared to stop thinking about it. A lapse in concentration is a lapse in Shepard's kneecaps. And she likes her kneecaps. Yeah, this is like being in Inverness in July. Keep your wits about you. <laughs> uh, it's not so much about the stabbings up in Inverness. Thankfully. Alright, alright. Definitely need to go in for a rest. The condition damage isn't doing me any favours. And having to very slowly move around like this is torture. Let's keep our torch at the ready in case there is another surprise up here. Of course, if the surprise is bears, I'm in trouble, because the bear is not going to be spooked by this wimpy little torch. Never seen a bear on this island, though, surely not. Poor Shepard. I'm taking 2% condition damage per in-game hour. One hour in-game is... I don't actually know how much in, in real-time time, but a minute, maybe? That sound about right? Yeah, I have no idea. There's a rabbit over there, but I'm not in a position of needing or particularly wanting rabbits. That's not true, actually. That's not true at all. I could really make do with having some guts around here. Good lord, there's rabbits aplenty. Um, there's a slight risk that I attract some unwanted attention. Also, I'm too slow to even grab them. I wouldn't be able to run up to them. I do want those rabbits, though. Oh, those rabbits. I think I'm going to go in here, ditch my stuff. Not even take an hour nap. Oh, well, maybe take an hour nap just so I can quickly blitz. Mm. No, I don't think so. Maybe catch them in the morning. Mm, or catch them now. It's difficult. Very difficult choices. Anyway, point is get in here. Stop chilling out. We are getting a touch cold. It's also getting a touch dark. Ooh, big win. This stuff will come in handy. A whole tin of coffee. That is five cups of coffee. That's good coffee. Oh, I think I'll shove my goods in the oven. Get in the oven. 40 kilograms of space in this oven, so uh, if I want to lighten my load, which I do, you shove most of my coal inside the oven. Uh, books can go in the oven. God, I got a lot of books. Not the newsprint. You shouldn't leave things inside like this. They, they will expire. I'm just doing this so it's easier to find them in a wee bit. I forgot I had this freshly cooked rabbit. Chew on that as I go to sleep. Might take a very short nap, go and catch the rabbits, come back in and then deal with the situation. That seems like a reasonable way forward. Thermos isn't even that heavy. Very cool. Where's all this weight coming from? Okay, there are these sticks and scrap metal and things. Boy, am I heavy. There we go. I just need to make sure that I'm light enough that I can actually go and catch, uh, catch myself some wabbits. To that effect, let's just drop down some of the things I don't see myself needing, like this hat, uh, these worn out jeans, and both of these scarves. There we go. Already moving a bit faster due to not being horrifically overburdened. Gonna loot the place while it's still light. Does that include the water? It does include the water. I'll leave some behind here. Always nice to have emergency rations. I'll drink what I can. I got a lot of water. Holding five will open the light radial. Holding six will open the weapons radial. They can be remapped. Mm, interesting. 
Again, I think my poor muscle memory would be done in. Should I be putting this here? No, I should be putting it on the oven. Leave it with all my other goods. I'm taking condition damage whilst I'm doing this, so that's not a great idea. Um, I think I'll hold on to the herbal tea for now, but I'm going to munch on this freshly cooked rabbit corpse. Gonna grab just a couple hours of sleep for now. I need anything right about now. And then go and hunt those rabbits. I think Shepard and I have a lot in common. I also like my kneecaps, says the bird. <laughs> Guts means fishing lines means oil. Mm. I don't think oil is going to be a concern this early, though. I am going to want oil later on, because early on I can choose... Okay, the, the rabbits aren't even going to be there in a, in a storm like this. That is a shame. I wanted to prep them tonight. Well, be that as it may, let's have a lovely filling night's sleep. I want eight hours of sleep. And I want all the calories for it, so 600 calories or so. Mm, eat this old, stale, nasty chocolate bar. And, 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 eat this stale jerky, and that should be enough. Don't forget to heat up any found beverages for skill points. You don't get uh, skill points for heating up a beverage like this cup of herbal tea. You need to cook the herbal tea from herbal tea, um, boxed herbal tea. I would get skill points from cooking up cups of coffee, but the offside of that, where's my coffee at? The downside is that then it would gain a lot of weight. Right now it's only 50 grams, but if I made five cups of it, it would suddenly turn into, I don't know, 500 grams? Yeah, yeah, I would increase the weight by factor 10. Man, I'll rest soon, I'm gonna faint. Yeah, I hear you, Shepard, come on. Have you got enough calories in your belly? Yes, you do, go and take a nice big drink. You do for fan one, says Geekston. Well, I am bamboozled. I will have to... Oops, I just threw a rock. Uh, I will trust you, but I will also verify. Don't take it the wrong way. No, no, no. We're fem shepherd Female shepherd. I didn't intend on sleeping the whole night away here. I wanted those bunnies, but... Starving. Uh, Shepard continues to complain about the hunger situation. Have another stale chocolate bar. Well, here... Uh, no. Uh, I did cook up a coffee earlier on, but I don't have a way of confirming whether or not I got skill points out of that. Don't worry, Geekskin. We will check. And then you can bask in glory for knowing so much more than me at this game. Right, if I can grab the rabbits here, I would even consider cooking them up. I would stink from carrying their... Oh man, I didn't even search this house, what am I thinking? Not clearly, evidently. Also, it was kind of a bit of a pain to throw away that stone. It is also cold as balls out here, even under my ski jacket, it feels like 30 below. Are those rabbits still here? Activate my supervision. I see rabbit. I see rabbit. It's a little difficult on these circumstances, but not too difficult for me. The bunny slayer. Mm. Get in my belly. Alright, where are your friends at? We took out Bugs Bunny, now where's Babs Bunny? There's Babs. So what was the deal with Bugs and Babs? Were they siblings or lovers? Oh, oh well, this one gets to live for now. Live in fear. That was a bad shot, I should have never made it when it was climbing around on the rocks, but Shepard is continually thinking about how hungry she is. Harder to nail these shots than it looks. Everybody loves to mock somebody for uh, for trying to make these shots, but when they go on stream and they try it and they keep missing, oh, you can feel them thinking, oh, I just want the ground to swallow me up. I deeply regret the words I've said to you, Jake. Jake-sama, please forgive me. They say to themselves, they don't say it out loud, but I can hear it. 
Okay, it's already getting too cold out here. It is that bollocking cold. So we're going back in. Two rabbits will have to do for now. That was dangerous. I should have kept my wits about me and looked for wolves on the way back, but I didn't. Nice and warm in here, though. And it's, it's fine enough right now. Sure, Shepard is very hungry, but who isn't? Let us harvest all of the meat and the guts out of you. This is going to take some time and burn calories, but we don't mind. Take all the meat, all the guts. We'll warm up while doing so. Why not both, Jake? Why not indeed? They're only animals. If there's one thing we've all learned from RimWorld, it's that incest does not exist between animals. Um, so first things first, I'm going to drop the gut inside. And then I'm going to step outside and drop the meat. Uh, not the, not the carcasses, just the meat. Uh, meat degrades slower outside than inside, and there is no such mechanic for predators prowling around and stealing your meat. Do I want the hides? Yes and no. I think I will still take the hides. It gives me an excuse to get tireder for longer. And then I will uh, go to sleep. Maybe even eat all this rabbit. Cook up the rabbit and some water. Go to sleep. Or I could do that back at Conset. Nah, I want to eat it now. I don't want to attract predators. Not currently, at least. Alright, there we go. Two guts over here. Leave the rabbity meat outside. It's good to crouch before you step outside for what it's worth. Okay, another blizzard. <laughs> what happened to my low temperature variant setting? The game's just laughing at me right now. Alright. Nose to tail these things. Harvest your guts. Do uh, harvest your skin, rather. Harvest skin with your bare hands. It is faster than using a hacksaw. You might say, why even have the offer for a hacksaw? The hacksaw will work on a frozen beast. Otherwise, you'd have to thaw it out by keeping it near a fireplace. All right, other rabbity carcass. Let's get you torn apart. Is shredding gone now? I'm under the impression that it is, but I didn't like shredding anyway, so... Um, it's no loss to me. Shredding's really gamey. That's a that's a good play on words, because they're game animals. Right. Squelch, squelch. So there we go. Guts and pelts curing here. It's a start, at least. Always got to have a start. I want to do some repairing here as well, and then I'll take a nice big sleep. Let's take a big slurp as well. And the most important thing to repair currently is this ski jacket. It's really good, kind of heavy, but uh, this would be two degrees warmth, two degrees of windproofness if we had it fixed up. Not to mention, successful repairing is going to level up our skills. Let's just hope we don't fail a load of times. It's easily done. There we go. I'm even going to repair for only that 18%. Or am I? I don't think I will, actually i got to be very considerate of my time right now. Is there anything more worth repairing at the moment? Actually, nothing. Uh, I think my time is too valuable. I should sleep and make my way back to Conset and then head on over to the next location. Which, as we all know, is... I forget. I do want to eat, though. But I can't start a fire inside, and outside there's a blizzard. Well, the blizzard might have passed. If so, I'll cook. The blizzard has not passed. We won't be cooking just yet. Alright, we're going to sleep for a wee while. Let these guts cure. Let those rabbits pelt cure. I'll pick up as much as I want to get on the way back. How are we for cloth? You know, I'm still going to take more cloth. It might seem absolutely mad to take this much cloth. But I can leave excess cloth in concept. And no, somebody has asked me before, does removing curtains lower the indoor temperature? It does not. And look at the curtains, they're not even drawn. God, I'm actually so excited to see you play this again. Finally, a recovery from the Avorion-induced drought. Uh, I know Avorion... Oh, hang on, I didn't search this place, did I? I know Avorion was a polarizing choice to take over the channel for a hundred or so hours. Maybe even more. But that's part of the deal with the devil you make around here. 
I only stream what I want to play. It's a very ironclad rule for the channel. Sometimes I look over at other channels where they're kind of typecast into just streaming one game because nobody watches for anything else and uh, that way they feel beholden to it. Maybe I'm projecting a bit here, but uh, it's very important to me to stream what I want. And that might mean that I end up streaming something you loathe. Some people even left the entire community because so they can't stand what I'm streaming. And nothing to drink. Poor Jagger, he, he hated the erotic games so much that he left and never came back. And it is sad. Sad for me, I suppose, but that's okay. Always got to be compromises. I'd probably have managed Vavorion much more if it were a solo endeavor. Uh -huh. Kind of a shame about the performance issues that we had on that, though. I wonder if it would have been better if we just not coincided with Pal World's uh, overwhelming domination of uh, networks. But we failed that roll of the dice. Also, we're failing every roll of the dice on these. We found a tin of dog food, and we don't have a knife or a can opener to open it with. Doesn't stop us from opening it, but we lose a bunch of the calories if we just smash it open. Because Shepard is clearly a cave woman. Still can't break these things apart. Is that something underneath the table? It is not. It's just a fancy looking rug. Alright, well that was a... Yeah, still, it was still a gain, but... Let's eat something. I'm going to eat my granola bar, my chocolate bar, and then sleep. Actually, maybe just one of them. The chocolate bar is a stalest thing. Actually, eat these crisps. Goodbye, my thirst meter. Hello, some water. You know what? Maybe I should check for the rabbits again. Another batch of meat and fur would go well, and I might have passed enough time by... Okay, no, never mind. <laughs> I thought by tearing down the curtains for about an hour, I might have passed enough time for the blizzard to go, but no, that blizzard is here to stay. Right, never mind then. Let's go and grab ourselves... You know what? I'm going to eat another thing. I'm going to eat the, gran uh, the chocolate bar. How does chocolate even go stale? I have eaten some very old chocolate in my time. It is fine. Uh, I don't want to sleep too long now. Just give me... Even five hours is kind of a long time. I want to make my way back to Conset. Give me three hours. Depends on the chocolate content. I think it depends more on the milk content. But again, I've never eaten chocolate and gone, Oh, this chocolate's off. It's always just been yum 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 chocolate. <laughs> but then I'm a bit of a chocolate fiend. I could eat a horse. Lot, I it's one of the harder things on my new diet regime. I'm not limited on what I can eat, right? If I want to spend my entire day eating chocolate, that is A-OK. -okay. The problem is, chocolate's very high in calories, and I limit myself to 1,600 calories a day. So that means if I do want to indulge, yeah. and sometimes I do, that means I'm probably going to be very hungry in the evening, or I have to make some very lean choices. It's a very fun thing to do, though. Uh, it's absolutely... I, w I hesitate to use the term diet, because this is something I plan on doing for uh, probably the rest of my life, is living a calorie-limited uh, lifestyle. But yeah, chocolate's, uh, chocolate's something that has to be rationed. That rebound shot was so good, it is okay to tell me, Jake, that was an amazing shot. Use my last stone, or my penultimate stone, though, so I'm going to get it back. Why not exercise more? I exercise plenty as it is. I've got a home gym that sees some liberal use, and I've got my dancing going on. But I have come to understand that for shifting the gut, it's a lot more about what I put in than what I put out. Yeah, exercise doesn't burn off enough to handle large chocolate intake. Mmm, man, I'd, I'd love to be just lowered into a vat of warm, melted chocolate like the Terminator. But hey, I can handle it. Right, that was actually a good haul. We're going to end up with a whole load of pelts and guts. And the extra food won't go amiss. I might actually sleep the night away here. Uh, because this is a decent power boost. Not now, but later. And I'm confident in my ability to survive until later. So, safe in the knowledge that we've already searched this place. Ahem. 
I even noticed the fridge earlier and I didn't go back and research it. Yes. Hey! That venison's actually pretty good. It might be moldy, but we can cook the mold off. We're actually going to end up with a lot of meat here. That's pretty good. All right, very good, Shepherd. Let's get to work, shall we? Let's harvest these bunnykins for all they're worth. Very good to find the hacksaw. This would have not have been an option if I hadn't found the hacksaw. That's why the hacksaw is on the great enablers. Not only does it allow you to harvest some things that you couldn't harvest before, like frozen corpses, it speeds up harvesting so much compared to using your hands and lowers the calorie amount that gathering bunnies and spending extra time with corpses suddenly becomes viable. It changes how you play. I cannot overstate how good the hacksaw is. After matches, it is my favorite thing to get. In fact, if I had to name three things I want at the start of a run, it's a source of fire, preferably matches or a fire starter, although a, a, light, a um, magnifying glass can be okay. Uh, then it is a hacksaw, and then it is a sewing kit. Amazing enablers for the very early game. And wouldn't you know it, we found all three of those as our first goodies. Uh, in that order, I think. Yeah, yeah, in that order. Boy, luck is on my side. <laughs> what, what a novelty. Yeah, sewing kit over bed roll, Therion. Reasoning being is that every, every location in the game has somewhere you can go and sleep, but nowhere has a location that you can go and sew. If, you are, if your hands are freezing and you don't find some gloves, you're going to need that sewing kit to make yourself some improvised Stop. gloves. Like an empty pit. Quit your moaning, Shepard, for God's sake. Uh, let's ditch the rabbit bits outside. I do still want to cook, but I want to cook when it's... Ooh, now this is good cooking situation. Very calm. Do I have enough to burn? Might have been a little lackluster on my burnables. No, I shoved them into the oven, didn't I? <laughs> uh, into the oven. Right. Uh, let's take out all the sticks then. And although I'd like to get started on curing these pelts, I'll definitely have enough time. They only take, what, five days to cure? So I'm going to go out, start a fire, cook up all that food, maybe make two fires, just to speed up the cooking process. Yes, only one of them needs to have much warmth to it. I got water, I'm fine. All right, let's go for it. When conditions are this good, absolutely got to make it. Let's hope that the... Uh, so the weather doesn't turn on me. Also, hope I don't get snuck up on by a wolf. So I'm going to drop all my food in the ground here and start a fire right here so that the uh, the building blocks a lot of the... Uh... Oh, hang on, hang on. I should be using a book here. Hold that thought. I'm going to grab a book. No, I won't. Why would I use a book? I can just light a torch. Yeah, of course, of course. It doesn't really matter how badly it goes. I, I completely forgot that I'd made some torches. So we light the torch first. And this is a huge trick. Well, trick. It's, uh, it's an efficient way to make your... Um, hmm, use a cattail head. It's an efficient way of making your fires. Light the torch, then light the fire. If you just use the match straight up and you fail, you lose the match. But the torch will stay lit as long as it's not windy. And if it's windy, you're not going to manage making your fire to begin with. Come on, little fire. Come on. All right, good start. Good hustle. Oh, yeah. Just start getting things cooked. Maybe put a little bit of fuel on this thing. Actually, I need to go for a while to take my firewood. And I have a lot of coal. I have no problem using coal for these fires. Also going to burn that cash. It was so cash. After all, it's Canadian money. I'm also informed that Canadian money is mostly plastic, so it's not exactly going to work very good as tinder. I think that works for novel British money as well. I think I had to go to a bank and exchange my old money for new money last time I was in Britain, if I recall well. Alright, alright. I might be able to get by on sticks, actually. Alright, alright. Got this going. Now, here's a question. Do we get cooking experience from warming up this cup of tea. We'll find out in eight minutes. When we pick it up, we will maybe see an increase in our cooking skill. 
Sadly, there's no number for this here, but it will give us a little in indicator icon. So four minutes, will it happen? Warm enough here. Oh, but I'm getting thirsty. Let's just deal with that right now. Eyes peeled. Are we going to get a pop-up? Yes! Well, I'll be. I eat my words and I bow to the superior long dark knower. I was wrong and you were right. Anyway, fairly big cooking sesh going on here. All this raw food needs to turn into not so raw food. And I am going to make two cups of coffee. Emergency coffee for if I desperately need energy or actually that's the main thing. I wouldn't drink it for hydration, but I'd certainly happily do it for energy. I'm also going to eat this. I plan on sleeping directly afterwards, so let's just not starve while we're here. Gain a little, tiny, minuscule amount of condition back. I want to draw attention to my condition, actually. I am amazed that we're doing as well as we are on condition. The, the situation here with uh, interloper difficulty, with extra malices to this, and much slower regaining of condition... I'm amazed that we're doing as well as we did, but we had a very nice start in Desolation Point. Okay, well, I mean, it was dark and cold and there were wolves, but with my vast intellect and great experience, we pulled through. It'll only be one skill up per found drink. Yeah, that's right, I can't rewarm the thing up. So how does the game track that? Does the game have a value assigned to the food stuff that says whether or not it has given um, an upgrade? Not an upgrade, but a, a skill point. I was so convinced that you didn't get anything for reheating um, foodstuffs that you've already found. But it's also good to know that I did reheat the coffee that I found earlier, so I didn't lose the experience from that. Cooking level 5 is going to be a very big milestone to work towards. I want to cook up the biggest pieces first. That's a kilogram of rabbit meat. That's not very big... That's not very big, and that is big. So we'll get the big show going, and then get the wee Mick Foley's over here, and we'll be good as gold. Locking into sufficient oil. Look at the luxury of double fire cooking. Bleh. It wasn't luck. I cooked for that oil. I'm just eating it all up. Fill my belly with all these calories. Might be a poor show. We're going to spend a lot of calories walking back to Conset. Actually tempted to do that tonight. Get my energy burned walking over there. Have a belly full of food. It's going to be a lot of stuff to haul. What are my alternatives? The thing is the conditions are so good that I do want to do it here and now. I do miss out on doing a bit more beach combing, but I think it's more important to make the, uh, the progress while I can. Alternative thought is head over to there. There are some fishing cabins that I can spend the night in instead of Conset. Gives me more places to explore. I don't know, it's difficult choices. Balancing your immediate needs with everything. Alright, looking good. I'm just get the last bits cooked up. And I have enough sticks that I can balance out the campfires just to cook very efficiently. And we're getting all this done while the weather is amazing. It's, there's nothing worse than setting up your big cook-off and then the wind just comes and goes blip. No fires for you. Very unpleasant. Uh, that's a lot of nice meat, but I'm going to eat it regardless. I should have waited on that. Should have waited so that I make myself very thirsty. You're gonna try out the thermos. How do I even use the thermos? Drink, drop, transfer. Transfer this hot cup of coffee. Can I also transfer this hot cup of coffee? Wait, what? <laughs> It can it can store entire cups inside it. Is this the TARDIS um, thermos? Can I mix other drinks in there?
Does it just work as a storage chamber? The hyperbolic time chamber, but for... Uh, for drinks? Hmm. Alright, this is looking good. Big feast for us. But now I need to decide if I want to go over to the fishing huts or not. Fishing huts, and then work my way along, and then up to Cinder Hills. I think that's exactly how I'll do it. Does mean I need to load up on my way out of here, but I think I can manage that. And we have just enough time on these fires, excellent. Alright, so now, if I go back to my thermos and transfer over... Uh, it doesn't like it, so I can't mix them. Hmm, okay. Does it show how long they're warm for? No? That's a bit sad. Also, was there condition on my coffee? Since when do drinks have condition? Uh, do I want to light a fire? No, I don't. Or rather, I don't need to. Uh, okay, I immediately regret saying that I do not need to. It is too dark to see inside here, despite how light it is out there. Um, okay, might be a change of idea then. I might not go to the fishing cabins tonight because I still have some um, some rabbit stuff that I want to tear apart. So instead I'm going to eat as much meat as I can. Ain't that delicious, Shepherd? Uh, drink some water. <laughs> uh, if that's the case, I really thought I'd... Oh god, now I'm lost. Curtains there, there's a exit. Highlight thermos in the inventory, it'll show you the heat level. Ah, okay. Hmm, is that for all of them? Anyway, meat stays out here, I clearly made too much. And now, well, this is complicated because I can barely see in here. Uh. The layout is throwing me. Where did I leave those rabbit corpses? I think I left them over here, right? Yeah, this should be the fridge and freezer. No, it's just shelf. There's the fridge. Somewhere on the ground here, I left those corpses. Rabbit carcass, good. Where's the other rabbit carcass? Other rabbit carcass, also good. And although it's incredibly dark, we are going to harvest you. Just your hide. And just use my bare hands, please. Mm, chunky. The heat is average. Okay, uh, but do they all go down together, or can one go cold while another is hot? That's what I get for having new tools that I don't know how to use in my game. Now oh, they normalize. That could be quite good, actually. All right, there we go. We squeezed out everything we could out of these rabbit pelts. I do kind of need to wait for it to be light so I can see my way out of here. I could really do with a lantern so I can see in situations like these. I could always waste a match to figure out my way out, but wasting matches is something I'd rather not do. For now, where am I? My bed is over here. All right, is there anything I want to think about doing before I hit the hay? It's too dark for fixing any clothes. It would definitely be worth considering fixing my ski jacket once more because uh, time is on my side for once. But I think, I think, I think, <laughs> damn potato. I don't know if potatoes store better indoors or outdoors. I'll just hold on to it for now. I can cook it up and eat it if the need arises. I think we just drink our water and go to bed. I'm always hesitant to do such things. Tell you what, uh, no, I don't have enough oil for another blessed torch, how I wish I did. All right, time to drink up and go to sleep. It is truly a blessed amount of matches, that much is true. I might just light the torch. Depends on the conditions outside, because I need to be able to see my goods and pick them up. If it's clear outside right now, I'm going to light a torch so I can see my goods and walk over to the fishing huts. 
Because currently not being able to see my goods is hurting me quite a bit. If the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. In fact, not being able to see is remaining quite a mar for this run. Looking forward to having a way through. I, I can take a bit of pity on Shepard here. It's hard to immediately know your way around someone else's home. Right, this is definitely the bedroom. There's the bed. Backing out, and here is leaving house. And some people think I don't know how to position myself. Ooh, is this clear enough? I don't really want to be out in this. Really don't want to be out in this. Where'd all my meat go? I think I left it by the other door. Yes, yes I did. Okay, okay. I'm live with this. The troubling thing is I don't have anything reasonable to pass the time with, but... But, but, but... Oh gosh, I'm kind of low on water as well. Drink up a little bit. I just need it to be a little bit light. That's all I'm looking for, a little bit of lightness. So let's just play cards, supposedly, for a little bit of time. Drink a little bit more, sleep for one hour. Check the conditions and then decide if we're making a move for it or not. Uh, I believe old man beer dressing is heavier than just having the ingredients for it, although I could be wrong. I've been wrong about things before. Not often, but it's happened. I should need my water bottle this time. Getting real thirsty here. So bright outside, so dark inside. Since I'm incredibly thirsty, I plan on eating as much of this food as I can. Nom 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 nom. That way, it zeroes my thirst, but you can't get lower than zero thirst. So I want to zero my thirst, then drink. Save myself a bit of water. If you're that thirsty, God knows how Shepard's even swallowing this stuff. Must be swallowing it like a duck. Conditions still aren't great out there, though. Top up that water. Shouldn't be getting thirsty for a wee while. And since it's technically light enough, I am going to fix this ski jacket of mine, or at least attempt to do so. Investing cloth into warmth is a good trade, and I'll be damned. We actually got it, and it's bright. Excellent. Everything's coming together. Gather our stuff, go down to the fishing huts. Um, the guts are a difficult call. They're going to make me very interesting to the wildlife. But ideally, I want these guts all the way over at Conset. No, I am going to leave them at the fishing huts. I might even leave them here. Hmm... Because I'm more likely to come over here than the fishing huts, because this is out at the beachcombing area. I will leave them here. Uh, what about all this stuff? I'm going to leave this here as an emergency source of cloth, I guess. But I want to pretty much empty out the oven and then figure out what to leave and what to keep. Nothing else lying around? Good. I'm just slightly underneath my weight limit. Only barely, though. Uh, I guess I'll leave myself a little bit of sticks in case I desperately need something to burn. Oh, man, they don't they don't stack nicely on the ground. Ah, uh, that's, that's the lack of stick north for you. It's kind of cool, though. I'm sure OCD suffering people would hate that. Um, I don't think I'll be actually be going back to concept on this route. So instead, I'm going to treat this as my concept for leaving goodies behind. There's no way I need that much cloth, he says, and then he immediately regrets his choice because where I'm going, there won't be a lot of cloth. Better make sure I have plenty of it for making torches and such. And bandages. I already used one. Should probably think about making another. I don't need scrap metal where I'm going. Uh, I don't need this leather where I'm going. Um, there's a whole lot of books here that I don't need. Store your books in... Actually, no, I already have it internalized that I use the oven for storing things. Uh, all the books, all the skill books at least, go in the oven. Even Wilderness Kitchen, even Frozen Angler, even the Fire Starting Book. I put a very low uh, value on skill books. I know some people don't feel that way. I do. And I'm the one playing. I'm going to keep my books, my accelerant. These are good for fire starting. And nobody needs this much coal in their life. In fact, I'm going through Cinder Hill Coal Mine. I'm going to get rid of most of my coal. Mm -hmm. That's fine. That is fine. I want my food on me. I'll leave myself a flare behind, I guess. Although, maybe not inside the oven. Mm -hmm. 
a bit too heavy on the flares. I'm a bit too heavy overall. I'm going to be glad to get the backpack from Ash Canyon. Yeah, there we go. Ditch a flare. Flares are kind of heavy at a quarter of a kilogram. There we go. Got about 10k of... 10 kilos of spare space. I have a bit of water. I've got lots of calories. Although I did eat all that meat. That certainly helps me out now for making a move. What sort of challenge is it? Uh, it's been a while since I'll, I will talk about the challenge again. It's the Michelin Star Ultra Loper. We're playing on a far harder than regular interloper setting. Our fatigue and our water, for example, are cranked way up, so we get tireder and thirstier a, lot, thirstier a lot faster. On top of that, there are more hostile animals. We recover health incredibly slowly. Are those deer or wolves down there? I don't want to take my chances. Look like wolves, so I'm going to... Give them a fairly wide berth. Actually, no, I need to go that way to get to those fishing huts. Not fishing huts, but the cabins. Alright, guess I'm getting cozy with the wolves. So, all in all, the difficulty is cranked up. And our goal is to make a... Holy... Look at it! Just gun for me! I don't have anything smelly on me. And he just raced towards me. That is the power of the, uh, the extra aggressive animal setting. They can find you from a long way away like this. I'm going to have to... Take a rocky route down, so that he doesn't catch me. You let it catch you. Grab some extra stones, because I think I was down to just a couple of stones. I like to have three stones in general, with that in mind. Yeah. Three is enough that you can miss twice. One is too few. Two doesn't make me feel safe enough. So the meals are going to be at least 4,000 calories, they need to include a drink, and they need to be sensible. I'm not going to have a meal that's just 20 chocolate bars and a glass of cooking oil. So people are free to submit to me the meals that they want, preferably they can be thematic and maybe even working for the region. As long as they are well-constructed meal plans, I... Oh, and they should have a name, right? They should definitely have a good name. Sudazima's Big Feast. Well, maybe something a bit more creative. And then the goal will be to cook it up and bring it to a prominent location in every map. I was on the fence about bringing ones over to the far territory, because I really hate those territories, but if I don't do it, people will ask me, why don't you, why don't you do the fish shaking air for you? Because I hate the map. <laughs> I really don't like the maps that were added in the DLC. I don't like the DLC in general, but uh, I guess I'll get it done. I didn't need that scarf. Probably shouldn't have even taken it, but I do need to warm up already. It was one little jaunt along here, and we're already freezing cold to the point that we're taking damage. Look at my stamina and my fatigue just dropping like stones now that I take a healthy jog. No cattails to be found here because this is not fresh water. All right, let's get in and get warm a little bit. Could even take a nap, honestly. Not a non-aggression pact. Why is there a house in the... <laughs> oh, you could play a hundred interloper games. You would not find as many matches as I am finding here. This is ridiculous. The fleece mittens aren't too shabby a find either. But uh, we've only been in Desolation Point and a little bit of Coastal Highway. We have already located five boxes of matches. These two merged together because they had the same condition. I don't know why matches have condition in the first place. Matches will never... Uh, they never lose condition. Ding, ding, ding. Second sewing kit. Far less important than the first one, but the first one can break quite easily. You sure about that difficulty? Positive. We're just that good. All right, all right. Uh, I think I might actually make some Tinder plugs. I got no Tinder whatsoever because we've not been doing the usual early cattail gathering. And it only takes a few minutes to make Tinder plugs. Actually, they're quicker to make out of sticks than anything else. Interesting. Give me a bunch of Tinder plugs. Could be necessary, could not. Yeah, if you could whisper direct message or Discord or some some kind of non-ethereal message with the um, 
the menu. I'd be much obliged. Hope nobody needs this anymore. All right. Bandages. I was talking about making some more bandages and I forgot to, so I'm glad we grabbed that. Definitely going to take a nap. I need the heat if nothing else. For reference, there's six degrees of extra warmth in the beds here. So if I don't find better in the next cabin, or at least as good, I'll use that cabin there. There's a blown out cabin with a workbench. I'm actually going to check that out as well. Very comfortable bed. Regular simple tools. Unnecessary. We have better tools. They are not only better, but they are lighter. That's quality tools. I've heard there can sometimes be things under these big comfy chairs, but you need a hatchet to break them down, and there's almost no situation where you would break down one of those chairs unless you were going for full completionism. It takes a long time, doesn't net you many reasonable resources. Alright, let's go and check out the, uh, the workbench over here, and then double back for a nap. I hear ptarmigans. Never actually hunted ptarmigans. Oh my lord, what? Well, there's one thing I didn't have enough of, it was matches. Let's have more. Truly an unethical amount of fire starting is now possible. It's so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. All right, all right, you can lay down. Tell you what, I've been nursing the soda for ages. You want to drink that? I don't know how calorifically dense that is. Just drink the water for now. Yeah, time to make torches out of just matches. <laughs> Alright, what time is it? Uh, I think we'll benefit from two hours of sleep. Long dark. Can't handle Jake's hard difficulty. Something's over. You all saw the difficulty settings when we went into this. The only feasible explanation is that Von Dougal's secretly updated the quality of life mod to add, uh, or rather just take every possible match spawn and make them spawn matches. Alright, maximum warmth, middle of the day, unless it's blustering or blizzarding, it should be a great condition for going to Cinder Hills. It is pretty good, only feels like minus five, let's make some headway. Cinder Hills to Pleasant Valley, Pleasant Valley to Timberwolf Mountain, Timberwolf Mountain to Trash Canyon. Trash Canyon up to the gold mine, which is not an easy undertaking, but it's certainly going to be easier now than if we had just spawned in Ash Canyon. If I spawn in Ash Canyon, I actually usually don't go for the gold mine unless I've got a really good starting setup. It's a very tiring, long, arduous journey. Let's not stop for every stick along the way. Since I don't have torches to pull, that's not such a big deal. However, let's keep a torch at the ready in case we get jumped by a wolf. And there's another thing if you're just joining. We have disabled the ability to pull torches from fires. It is one of the most overpowered and frankly ill-fitting things in the game. But you can just keep pulling torches from a fire. They have between 20 and 50% condition. But all it costs is a small amount of time that your fire can burn and one degree of warmth. And it's something I would do a lot of if playing. I usually stack my inventory with like 10 or more, sometimes 20 torches, just so I always have fire with me. Saves you on matches, gives you security, gives you warmth. It's just really good to have torches on you. Hello, hello, hello. A sewing kit and a book teaching me how to sew. Nice combination. That is one skill book I actually do want to read. Because early game sewing is absolutely terrible. Not only is it slower and breaks your sewing kits more often, it's also more likely to fail, and you only learn uh, sewing if you succeed in your sewing. So getting the first level from the books saves you a lot of lost cloth and broken sewing kits. Sewing kits are finite, however sewing is not because you can fashion a homemade sewing kit out of a cured gut and a hook. And a hook you can make from scrap metal, and scrap metal you can always find from... Uh, beach combing, so it is infinite. Your ability to sew is infinite. Cloth also respawns from beach combing. As I was talking about earlier, beach combing enables a lot of infinite things which are otherwise rather finite in this game. Thought that was a corpse, it was just a corpse looking stone. You've got more loot than I ever see, says Ali. <laughs> 
It's not impossible, right? There have been bugs with this game before about the custom settings. For example, a firearms cleaning kit spawned earlier. And I think that's because sometimes they make updates to the difficulty spawning settings, but they don't quite carry that over to custom mode. But there was no way to do these settings without going custom mode. So I'm sorry I have no way to offset my ridiculously good luck. I also can't remember the way to Cinder Hills. I don't think it's up here. I think this takes me out to Ravine. So let's not go that way. Thankfully it's nice and warm, otherwise I would actually be tempted to stop and make a fire because condition loss is brutal. Animals do respawn. Animals are infinite. All of the animals are infinite. The rate at which they respawn drops over the course of the game, though. Uh, I don't know if that applies to bears and wolves, the hostile uh, animals, but rabbits and deer will certainly become less commonplace. And the world gets colder. The world gets 4 degrees colder every 10 days for 50 days. So although it's minus, uh, minus 13 ambient right now, if this were day 50 or beyond, it would be ambient minus 33. So you are very strongly encouraged to grow in power. That's why I don't like sticking around in one location. I like to come in, grab everything of value that isn't nailed down, and then vamoose. Because you've got to go and get the power. All the items that you see in the top left, the bedroll, the bow, the hammer... The flare gun, the lantern, all power giver thingers. And I want to get as many as I can so that when the world gets harsher, I'm strong enough to handle it. It does not apply to bears, says Keko. Every 30 days a bear will respawn in interloper settings. And now we know. There is a rope that I have never used, I think, except I did test it. One time there was a very bugged release of this DLC. I mean, which release wasn't bugged? Uh, where animals would shift in between life and death, and you would consume ungodly amounts of energy climbing a rope. If you had saved your game at the bottom of a rope climb, and then the game had updated with no way to revert, uh, you would not be able to get out. You'd be stuck. That was a horrible update. Really made you think, who in God's name tested this? I I've got a lot of bad things to say about the DLC for this game, the Tales from the Far Territory, and they're not without merit. I don't think anybody can say, Jake, you're being unfair about it. No. My humble opinion is also a correct opinion. I'll leave those papers over there, more visible. More cloth that I could have. I could take another nap. I'm not averse to taking a lot of naps because our rate of losing uh, stamina is so high. Spray paint. I never take spray paint. Spray paint's very heavy. It's half a kilogram and it doesn't do anything. I'm going to check this other house first before I make a call on the nap or not. I'm a little torn because if I nap now, it's going to be dark by the time I get through Cinder Hills. Uh, but that's okay because it brings you up quite close to the community hall. A lot of books here. Uh, how am I doing on books? I've got three books. Three is fine. I'll leave those there for potentially later. Books are good because they give you a boost to the odds of your fire starting, but they're also heavy. God, that's a lot of books. The urge to hold a book-burning festival grows ever higher. Getting quite hungry, though. And these, these settings for our uh, condition things in the bottom left are quite brutal. Uh, I do want to warm up... But I'm definitely going to warm up in Cinder Hills. I will drink this soda, and I will take a one-hour nap. And then I'm making the break to Cinder Hills. Cinder Hills has an ungodly amount of coal. I will gather it all, but I won't take it all, if that makes any sense. Uh, I will see if I can drag it down to the Thompson Community Centre, but failing that, I'll just leave it at Cinder Hills if it's simply too much. Alright, weather's looking pretty swell. It only feels like minus six under this lovely, well-repaired ski jacket. Man, look at that freaking new ski jacket. Awesome find, that. If you really want to find an early game ski jacket, Forlorn Muskeg at the Spencer's Ruined Family Farm Abode place quite often has a ski jacket there. Not always, of course. There are very few spawns that are guaranteed in the long dark. 
world getting colder. I sense a theme in Jake's for fair game. I was brought up in northern Scotland. I don't know what you expect. This scene that you have right here in front of me, I have lived this scene. Not in Canada, of course. Technology was a bit slow in a right. Oh god, that that wolf's gonna give me a bit of a bit of pain, isn't it? I want to be in a position to spook the wolf, but look at that—the wind's picking up. The wind knows I've got a wolf to deal with. All right, the wolf was perfectly blocking my um, my escape there. Very cruel. Oh god, it's a proper blizzard. I need to get to Cinder Hills. Okay, hopefully I have given him the Jukes a hazard. Stupid dogs. Okay, well, see, that took no time at all. We came out and was like, oh, weather's looking very nice. Only feels like minus six. Well, it feels like minus 24 now, and it's getting colder and windier. Which means uh, my torch here won't do diddly, so let's be prepared with a flare instead. My temperature just dropped. The uh, the ski jacket does nothing against this. What's the Scottish equivalent of cattails? I used to pick a lot of berries as a child. A lot of bramble roadside berries. I mean, sure, it probably had all sorts of uh, cows and horses peeing and worse all over them. I don't care. Yummy, free, juicy food. Nom, 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 nom. Hope I'm going the right way. Uh, blizzards just have this amazing way of making me forget where I am and where I'm going. Even though it spends more energy, I'm keen on legging it, because I think this is the way to Cinder Hills. I feel like I should have passed by a trailer, though, so I hope I'm not dead wrong. Being dead wrong is often followed by being dead when making mistakes exploring in a blizzard. This is why map knowledge is so powerful in this game. But I do not have my maps. I put those maps away in a cupboard, or drawer rather, and I did not take them out. It was tempting to. So like I said, it'd be rather mortifying to die horribly in this run. Uh, I'm starting to wonder if I am on my way to Cinder Hills. I could have taken a very wrong turn here. Now we're getting very cold. I actually think I am taking the wrong direction to Cinder Hills. I am all but certain I am going the wrong direction. But I don't want to turn around just before I get to where I need to go. No, I am I am so so sure I'm wrong. Well we'll turn around when we hit a dead end, but I don't want the, the worst thing is turning around, being wrong about being wrong, and then just giving myself a lot further to go. At the very least there'll be something over here to take shelter in. Of course, the wind is also blowing right in my face. The game somehow knows when to blow right in front of you so that you cannot move particularly fast, and my condition is dropping like a stone. Fortunately, though, frostbite risk is not a thing. <laughs> Better to die than to admit you're wrong. Mm. Mm, there's a passage off here, so it's probably to the watchtower. I have been I've been lost up here before. Watchtower. I think that rock there is just next to the watchtower, so it's worth going and checking out. Uh, is it worth grabbing some acorns here? There are no acorns here. Oh, that's rough. Hello, sunk cost fallacy. I know, I know. How can I turn it down? It's got fallacy in the name. Hey, okay, right, we're saved. And that tells me I'm on almost the right track, even though it's. Very cold. I'm going to grab these rose hips. They're nice and light. Rose hips are very rare. So are cattails, so are mushrooms. Normally on Interloper, there are lots and lots of so uh, forageable ingredients. Kind of telling you to go out and live in the sticks rather than get glorious uh, industrialized society supplies. Oh, thank God, it's warm in here. Ah, God, this must feel so cozy. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, there's not much in here, but look, we can get reading. The most violent storm, skip to the end. Walk because it's your destiny. Okay, I will, I will, I will walk. Notes don't take up space, so they're okay to grab. 
Newsprint. I'm not going to take the newsprint. I'm not going to take the whetstone either. Ooh, we've got company here. Just as well, it's a two-dog knight. Oh, he's got nothing on him. I would definitely be eating that corpse here. Uh, there's another firearm cleaning kit. I can't believe they still haven't fixed this issue. Why do they just not fix bugs with this blading game? Long-standing issues like that. Oh, well. I have no idea what the dev team are doing. They've had all year to make this DLC and they've not bloody made it. Uh, Alright, I'm not here to harp about it all day, but I'm not about to set foot out in that blizzard again. At least not right now. What do I do? I definitely want to make it through Cinder Hills. I'm okay with traveling through the night as long as it's clear. Is the Cinder Hill coal mine west or east of this watchtower? I know I need to head north, but then do I go east or west? Honestly can't remember. I'm having difficulty placing the watchtower in my head. West. Okay, okay. Well, Cinder, Hills watchtower, uh, Cinder Hills coal mine is further to the west than I thought. Uh, right. Mm, probably going to eat my crisps just to keep my... Uh, here's a question. Do I really want to go for well-fed at this point? I think that's a bit too much to ask for. I think I'd want the bow and better cooking skills before I go well-fed. Especially since I need to grab as many calories as I can for the cooking later on. Mm -hmm. But then we don't need crisps and granola bars to make a meal, do we? Uh, let's see, let's see. I already ate a whole load of food. Well-fed is pretty nice. It gives you plus five max health and plus five health. And it also gives you five kilos more carrying capacity. That's the big gain. But the trade-off is you are never allowed to starve. You must always keep this counter above zero, your food counter. And that could be a little tricky. It might look like I have a lot of food, but really I would get through this in no time. I think I am going to go back to starving for a little bit. I might regret that action, but it's my action to regret. I'm going to... Tell you what, I will sleep until I've warmed up, and then we're going to make a break for it, even if it is blizzarding. You've got lots of cattails in Pleasant Valley ahead of you, no, because the spawning of cattails has also been reduced for this difficulty setting. There's going to be half or fewer, maybe a third of the normal amount. Alright, it has calmed down. I have sufficiently warmed up. Let's go. Oh man, being able to see is such a game changer. Also, is there anything outside? Sometimes they hang a goodie for you on the outside of these watchtowers. No, I'm going to leave the door open so that I remind my future self that I've already been here, so not to get my hopes up about finding something. I should have left a match there, or two matches. I have so many matches that I should be leaving them behind for emergencies. There's also actually a little alcove if you climb down this rope to go and grab something, but I will not be going for that, heavens no. Shouldn't be afraid of running, especially since it's still kind of cold. Jeez, no, no bleeding acorns. It's going to suck if somebody wants an acorn delight for dinner. Yeah, it's still cold. It still feels like minus nine. In the grand scheme of things, that's not very cold. It's colder than I want to be. I'll take the high ground here, just in case there's a wolfie down there. Mm, no, we're good. Oh wait, are we? That looks a lot like a wolf. Hmm. I'm not opposed to lighting a torch, because I need a torch to get through Cinder Hills anyway. And the torch will spook the wolf. Yeah, there we go. Right, if I gotta do this, I gotta do this. Hold on, are they even spooked? They should have a setting that makes them far less cowardly. Okay, nah, nah. I guess if there was a setting that made that not work on wolves, it would be far better known. There were settings for how spooked animals are, and I've set it to the lowest. I think one of them is even set to none, but that that trick with the wolves still appears to work. Maybe that earlier path where I said, oh, I don't think this path leads to Cinder Hills was the wrong one. But why do I feel like I'm not going to Cinder Hills? <laughs> oh, right, no, no, the, the path is taking a right here. I am right. Okay, good. Good. 
Glad I stayed the course, because I was having severe misgivings. And by the way, the torch uh, increases ambient temperature. It's only a few degrees, two or three, but can really make the difference. The big difference in this game is, is between being uh, above or below freezing. Because if you're below freezing, your heat bar is going to go down, and if you're above, you'll go up. The main thing there is that if you're at absolute zero uh, on your bar at the bottom uh, at the bottom left here, but then you're just a smudge above freezing, you won't take damage for it. All right, crates, crates. It took a while for me to get a, my head around the interaction between all these different things. This counts as a building, so I cannot start a fire in here, meaning these torches have to last us all the way through, so I've got to be quick. Give me that accelerant. I want to be quick, but I also want to be thorough. That means grabbing coal, that means grabbing everything on the shelves, that means not overlooking... It's fine if I miss a few bits of coal here and there, but I certainly don't want to overlook things like the stim. Pretty sure there's a stim in here. You also move slower in the mines, just to add insult to injury. Take the left route, because never do anything right. <laughs> never do anything right is a riddle from a game I played a long time ago called Swords and Serpents. The game is really bad, by the way, but that riddle really stuck with me. The, uh, the riddle is, of course, telling you to not take the path on your right. If you do that, you just walk through a bunch of uh, shock traps. Damaging the whole party. It's a first-person dungeon crawler for the Nintendo Entertainment System. It's really, really bad. Used to bug out all the time, but it left an impression on childhood, Jake. The music plays through my head even when I don't want it to. Uh, more quality tools. No, that's not tools. That's a first aid kit. My mistake. And it's empty. I don't need that book, so I won't pick it up. It's on fire starting, which is nice. Could have sworn there was a stim around here. Anyone see a stim? A stim looks like an EpiPen. I've never seen an EpiPen, but I assume it's what it looks like. Normally it's next to the shelf, but it's not here. Perhaps perhaps the game just front-loaded all the good items uh, where I was, and now it won't give me any more. Give me the coal. Coal makes such a fun sound when you pick it up. It kind of sounds like a hollow piece of coal. I've handled a lot of coal in my time. Used to go uh, have to go out and shovel coal into the bags to keep inside for the... For those very cold Julys. Pretty sure I've seen snow in May. I remember being snowed in in May. Because I wanted to go to my friend's birthday party, but uh, could not get anywhere. Alright, that is a hint for us to get moving a bit faster. This is our second of... Actually, I think this is our third of three torches. I've made three torches so far. Getting very over encumbered with coal, but that's okay. Another firearm cleaning kit. That's a stalker spawn, it should not be spawning on interloper. Some scrap metal, I cannot conceive needing that. Not right now, at least. I will need scrap metal when I get to forging. That's forging, not foraging. Um, however, I need a heavy hammer to forge. So heavy hammer is very high on the priority list for things I want to find. I'd also like to find a pry bar and a well, a bedroll, obviously. Basically, everything in the top left, I want it. It's not there for decoration. All of those items I want. I'm not going to find a bow, though. I need to make the bow. The bedroll I could find, though. Gosh, look at all this coal. I think I'm in a coal mine. Unfortunately, getting duplicates of items I already have are not particularly useful. I can't put another hacksaw to use. You got anything for me, chump? Nada and... Nada. No pry bar on you either. How dare you. Grim way to go. Trying to get through there. Meet a grating you can't get through. Just keel over and freaking die. Sometimes there's a... I think I saw a stim over there. I saw a slight tinge of red. One nice thing about having to make all of my own... Oh, no, it was quality tools. 
And maybe a stim. Oh, very nice. I'm not taking the quality tools. I already have some, but it's a good find. I might leave some quality tools in Pleasant Valley, knowing that I can grab these ones on the way back. But what will really happen is that I will forget that they're there. The coal mines generally just have coal everywhere in usable form. If this game is anything to go by, absolutely. I've never been down a coal mine. We just got our big bags of coal delivered. Sometimes when the money was hurting, we'd have to get bags of peat instead. That's an excellent find. Oil has actually become very useful to me. It's like Frostpunk, right? Transitioning from coal to oil. Um, yes, I can make some more torches with that. But later. I know you're weak, Shepard. You have to tell me. I can hear that you're Canadian. In your disgusting, nasally voice. That's not always disgusting, but it is always nasally. I've never heard a Canadian who I didn't think sounded like they're talking through their nose. Alright, that is coal galore, but the problem is it's too much coal. Got another sewing kit. Uh, I will take that, I'll leave it in uh, the... Leaving a Thompson Hall thing. Anyway, way too much coal. I can't drag all of this down, but I do want to drag a lot of it down. So I'm going to leave 20 of it here. And I'm going to drop my torch and check how it is outside. If it's blustery, my torch might blow out. It's actually kind of good. I should be okay for making the, uh, the pilgrimage down to the community area. I might be so good that I can actually afford to take more of this coal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 more coal. We're going to be a bit slow, and we're certainly hungry and tired. But at least going down is faster than coming up. And it's clear-ish, so I know where I'm going. Might break my ankle coming down here, though, but that's always a risk one has to take when they are Canadian. Easy does it, Shepard. Oh, that's fine. I didn't break my wrist. I didn't break my... Uh... Didn't break my ankle, I broke my wrist. Is that a wolf? It's fine if it's a wolf, I can chase it away. I don't stink, but... Uh... Now, there's no need for me to chase this wolf away. I can just walk, and it's fine. However, I am going to chase it, because if the wind suddenly turns, my fire gets blown out, and then I would need to rely upon a uh, flare. And the flares are... Almost finite. They are a very rare drop on beach combing. But for all intents and purposes, flares are finite. The rate, uh, the range at which dogs notice you on this difficulty setting is obscene. It's far, far further than interloper. And I'm so overburdened, I can barely run, but I'd rather not run. Oh no, the wolf is calling for reinforcements. Hope I'm going the right direction here. I might have turned myself around a bit in that uh, initial cowing of the wolf. And you can see that this torch isn't going to last much longer. I think this torch has about five minutes of light left in it. Alright, from here I'm going to spook the wolf. Get over here. When you aim at the wolf, it aggros on you, runs towards you, and then it sees the fire and decides it doesn't want any piece of you anymore. And good. It's random the direction that it runs away after it gets spooked, and you always want it to not be in the direction that you're currently heading towards. But it can be. Sometimes it just wa it just runs right through you, and that's terrifying because you think it's charging you. I will concede. I have lost my way. Where in the hell am I? I think I need to follow this road. It'll lead me over to the community area. Just when you think you know where you're going, suddenly it gets a little bit dark. A few wolves around you. Judgment gets impaired, but... At least it's warm. It only feels like minus four. Balmy. A very balmy day for Commander Shepard. I think if I follow this road, it'll take me over to the community area. It'll be on my right, and on my left, there'll be a shop. And 
total darkness. Wolves, shepherd is yawning. <laughs> I think the adrenaline would be keeping me awake in a situation like this. But I am not built Canadian. I'm built to last. Ah, very good. Shop is right there. Wait, is this a shop or just a house? Just a house, huh? Mm. I'm running very low on torch, so I'm just going to beeline for the community area. Sometimes has walls around it, I'll just have to take my chances. I was disappointed in Frostpunk 2's beta, says Jetpack. Calling it a beta was bad marketing. It was a demo. I could barely sink my teeth into it before it was wrenched away from me. Yeah, I think it should have been something like preview or first look. Beta doesn't feel right. Betas are for testing and for feedback, although I'm under the impression they are taking feedback and such from it. Okay, always feels dangerous walking around at night with no light source, but I've got this flare on in my hands. Do I check out the shop? No, it's going to be too dark. I need to get inside and go to sleep. Shepherd is ready to sleep. And I should be able to sleep right the way through to daytime. In retrospect, I wish I hadn't turned on massive fatigue. Yeah, it's making things harder, but it's also making things a bit more annoying. Because you can't go very far without needing to sleep yet again. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'd made that mental note and then promptly forgot it. Okay, fortunately, I kind of know my way around here. If I just go over here and look down, there should be a bed. Should be a bed. Should be a bed. Oh, 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 oh. Please, game. I was right on the money. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there we go, man. Who is the best around? No one's ever going to keep me down. What do we have before bed? I fancy some ketchup crisps. And, 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 and. More food for the food god. Let's have a, a new granola bar. God, I could do with a granola bar. I'm pretty hungry myself, honestly. Uh, wash it all down or eat some more? Gonna eat even more. Shepherd's eating for two. There we go. Slurp down that. Immediately regret not having enough water. But that's okay. I mean, eight hours of sleep with a little bit of water condition damage will be okay. Oh, crikey! The moment I did that, the Aurora hit. That would have let me see around the place. There's a toilet to drain. So being able to see the toilet and drain it would be good. Hmm, still too dark, but I don't want to take this condition damage. Damn. I'm that is starving. a pain. Let's see if we can do a little trick here. A little cool trick. So that's our bed. This is a cooking hob. What the heck? Oh, right. That's excellent, actually. That tells me the fireplace is there. Good, 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 good. If the fireplace is here, that means that I'll I can just I drink soon. walk away from it. And over here somewhere is a bathroom. And in the bathroom there's a toilet. Oh, there's a curtain, sure. There's the toilet. Take all the water in the toilet. In the dark. That's some very chunky water, isn't it, Shepherd? Glug down the water and then make our way back to the fireplace. Nice, I wasn't confident in my ability to do that until the fireplace showed me the light. So the fireplace is there, we know that the bed is here, and we can sleep for the remainder of our tiredness. And now we can see. Excellent. Not only can we see, we're at almost full health, despite the very low uh, health recovery rate on this mode. Right, what are we doing around here? Well, first... Shepherd needs to lose some weight. So, uh, ew. Nasty old toque. Um, we've got a lot of coal. No one needs this much coal, especially where we're going. I'm going to dunk 20, 34 of it. I'm also going to leave behind 12 whole loads of matches. So there's plenty to... Uh, yeah, also some, some wood. This is basically the, the fire starting cave here. Uh, no, we already, already tra transferred that. 
have a book, have another book. Yeah, maybe I'll take that. It might be situations where I'm in a position where I could or may want to read. Take these papers, take these other papers, because I've already got Tinder. Even take one of these firewood things. I got, I'll, I'll have plenty of sticks along the way and it's not a very fire heavy run. Um, a stim? Nah, keep the stims on you. You net. That means that's the difference between life and death right now. That's not something I want to save for later. Late and get your hands off that. Food? Nah. Dead torch I can harvest. Hacksaw. Well, I already said this is a place for keeping the firewood, but I might keep other things nearby. For example, I'm going to ditch the most used hacksaw. I'm on the fence about this insulated flask. I'm not entirely sure it's worth the weight it takes up. I don't usually walk around with that much to drink, do I? And I assume it gets heavier the more I put in it. Could save my bacon with the coffees, though. Uh, I do not need these um, sewing kits. Definitely want this. I need to make a couple new torches after what we spent getting over here. All right, that's relatively good. Still got 10 kilos of spare weight. Going to prepare some rose hips. Can't make many of them, but I can make some. Where can I find something to eat? Excellent. I made a comment that they should ask you for feedback in the UI. Your comment was spot on, one could hope. Well, they said they were watching my run back in the office. Hello, I had no idea quality tools made it quicker to make torches. That makes my life easier. Definitely making a pair of torches then. And then we're going to loot the immediate area. I'm not going to move on just yet. There's plenty around here in the community area. And yes, we have to make torches. Pulling torches from fires is not just prohibited, it is disabled in this run. We have the technology under mod settings to go down to Tor... Here it is, difficulty settings. We can uh, disallow taking torches. There's a lot of other difficulty settings. I was tempted to play around with these, but they started to feel a bit more arbitrary, so I wasn't so keen on it. So yes, we could make it that bears have less meat. Oh, we turned off stick north, so we can't use sticks to navigate. But yeah, you, you could turn off uh, getting... If you think cattails are too easy for calories, you can disable that as well. But no. I made my list, and I'm seeing it through. All right, although I just lowered my weight, there is still a bunch of loot to be grabbing around here. Kind of last call for getting good cloth. We already scoured the toilet for some delicious water. We were in luck though, there wasn't just water here, there was orangeade. I'm not big on fizzy drinks, so you wouldn't, wouldn't catch me running into that problem. I'm actually surprised there wasn't yet another box of matches here. We've had obscene match luck. Ah, people like to call it streamer luck, but I like to think it's just fortune favors the bold. It's very bold to stream difficult things, especially to a know-it-all community like we have here. I don't know what fostered this level of agitation. Stop smacking your lips, it's very uncouth, Shepard. Uh, so there's a cabinet that you can search here, but there is also a cabinet underneath these tables. If you have a hatchet or a hammer, you can break these tables down and access the cabinet beneath them. Unfortunately, the cabinet is almost always empty. In fact, I've never seen anything in it, but it could have something in it. A lot of shelves to check out in the community hall here. Excellent opportunities to get food and a very high possibility of finding a pot or a pan. I'd rather have a pot than a pan. In fact, I might I might not even take the pan if I find it. Oh, there it is. Game calls it a skillet. It's not wrong. Mm, you know what? This seems like a good place to store food. Are these edible? Not really. If tinned sardines are below 75% condition, they can give you food poisoning. And unless you're desperate, I don't think it's worth the risk. It's also worth the risk if you're right next to bed, because you can sleep off food poisoning. But if you are just eating them for the sake of building up calories, or you're about to go out, I would never take a chance on tinned fish unless it was desperate. We did have such a desperate time when playing Bleak Inlet in the Single Region Survivor series. But honestly, every minute of my life in Single Region Survivor 
inlet was a fight for my life. And here we go, one of the recipes. A light but satisfying stew made from vegetables. Vegetables are not something that are infinite and can be rather hard to find, but if anybody wants Thompson's family stew to be part of the recipe or the menu, then, well, we better stockpile our vegetables. I also need to look into how to keep vegetables good for longer. This has been a miserable find. Oh, it just got a little bit better. Pinnacle peaches I dare not eat because you can make peach pie or peach turnovers or peach something with them, so I don't want to waste them. Turning off cattails doesn't make the game more difficult, I guess. You just know you don't have to look for them. Uh, no, they'll make the game much more difficult. Cattails are an amazing source of food. They never go off. They're one of the most calorifically dense foods in the game. And they are abundant in a lot of areas that you otherwise struggle to find goods, such as Ash Canyon and Forlorn Muskeg. I wouldn't just contest that they don't make the game harder. I would say you're outright wrong. Perhaps even delusional, witch. Right, looks amazing outside. Not to say it's warm, it's never warm in the morning, but it's very clear, very bright. Excellent opportunity to grab things like cattails, sticks, being able to spot wolves and perhaps even bears from afar. Lovely. <laughs> Sometimes it has to be done, Brick Eater. Good name, that Brick Eater. Puts me in mind of Patrician 4. Nitro was also playing it, and uh, instead of feeding people, he only gave them bricks to eat. God, I miss you, Patrician. Will gaming minds ever make Patrician 5 after the disaster of releases they've had recently? They're probably going to go crawling to Railway Empire and make nothing but Railway games from now on. Too risky to make anything else. Because they keep failing at it. Grand Ages Medieval, flop. Port Royal 4, flop. Tortuga, flop. I feel the need to blame Calypso more than Gaming Minds, but it takes two to tango. Hang on, what am I doing? I was meant to go into the shop. The allure of cattails is overcoming me. Plus, I need to warm up a touch. It is nay warm out here. Locked, locked, and locked. We need a pry bar. Even though inside there, there's never going to be anything. On a very, very rare day... Oh! This stuff will come in <laughs> Speaking handy. of rare, we didn't have enough matches, so I'm glad we've got some more. Now we've got 62, plus 12 in Thompson, and 3 in Concept. Never seen this many matches on Interloper, says many. Alright, grab the tatties. Does anybody know, quickly, whether potatoes and carrots last longer indoors or outdoors? Kind of an important detail, because we need to preserve these for the future recipes, but it's not information that I have. The knowledge is not innate. Boy, bum deal in here. Oh, not so. Oats. Oats are useful in a lot of recipes. Sometimes there are matches on the counter here. But I don't think they spawn here if they spawn over there. Oh. Oh, it's just spray paint. I'll take yet another sewing kit, because I didn't have enough of those. Take another potato. Yummy, yummy. I know that carrots are delicious. Yes, they are. I love carrots. Favorite way to eat carrots is baste them in honey or maple syrup, and then grill them up. After you just uh, just boil or steam them enough that they're not too crunchy. You can use recipes with them at 0%. Thank you, that puts my mind at ease. In that case, we will just keep them over in the Thompson Community Center indoors. I tried Port for, uh, Royal 4 recently. I ran into a game-breaking bug. I am not surprised. My game-breaking issue was that the game was crap. So, um, put that one down. Felt bad. They even gave me a review code for it, but I just roasted the game alive and then never came back to it. Well, too bad. If they'd made a good game, I wouldn't have. Mm, 
I think I have too many tattoos and they don't show up in the Oh god, I got a lot of tattoos. Uh might keep one, just in case I need the calories for I'm going you know what? Nah. We should just have them all here and make a mental note, although it would be better if we made an actual physical in-game note. I might actually do that now, I've got time. Where have I left supplies in? Because I need to make a note of that. It's a shame these things don't line up nicely here. Uh, where is it? J, it's over here. Supplies. So, um, Pleasant Valley, Community Hall, uh, Matches, Fuel, Skillet, Tatties, and Carrots Galore. Are the two L's or one L in Galore? Looks better with two. Um, we also had Coastal Highway, Concept. I didn't leave much in Concept. Uh, cooking Supplies, Matches, and Coastal Highway. Maybe better to indent them like this. Concept. And then Island House. And it's more like the Western Island House that I can't remember the name of. Might be Jackrabbit. Um, I left behind various supplies and guts and rabbit pelt. Also, always click done. If you just click away from this, it removes all of your notes. Always click done. Is there anything else I need to add to this? Nah, I think we're good. Let's try and have a bit of continuity here. All right, good enough. There's only one L in galore. Well, I'm changing the rules. Most of that water is just water I scooped out of the toilet. That's not gonna last forever, especially with our thirst meter running riot on it. Gonna go down here, there's often cattails, but I gotta remember that the cattail Setting is very low. Also going to take another nap before we move. That way it's going to be later on in the day. Preferably better time of day. No pry bar. Often corpses like this can have pry bars next to them. See, another good reason for a pry bar is if I get caught in a struggle with a wolf, a pry bar is a weapon I can use on them. It's not a good weapon, but it's better than your bare fists. Better to have something like a hatchet or a hammer. But... Any weapon is better than no weapon, and unlike anything else, I'm more likely to carry a pry bar with me. I'd certainly be carrying a hatchet with me, but I'd need to create a hatchet, and that's not happening anytime soon. There wouldn't have to be more matches around here, would there? <laughs> Alright, it is cold as sin, though, so I'm just going to move on. Any houses over here? That one's boarded up. Almost anything about now. Let's go into the church, leap over the railings, into the door, and barely warm is warm enough. Splash ourselves with holy water, eat our holy granola bar. More book, more cloth. Some people never ever pick up this book and burn it, or so I'm told. I don't I don't give a hoot, but I've got plenty of books as it is. Never really understood this whole candle arranging thing. What's it meant to symbolize? Loads of them, especially in Eastern Europe. They love lighting bloody candles. Come to find that they are uh, quite ecumenical here in Hungary, and they're quite loud about it. Tried to explain to uh, an older lady that uh, religion is a private matter for me. And <laughs> she still wanted to keep on bloody talking about it. She wanted to know who my patron saint was. That was apparently a very big deal to her. I couldn't name a single patron saint, so uh, I was left... A bit askew. There's probably a George. I feel like there's a patron Saint George. Maybe I should have said George. At least I didn't say Jesus. Oh yeah, we do things different where I'm from. Free cloth. I am getting cold here. I shouldn't be taking this cold damage. I'm doing this to myself. And I'm not warm inside this car, so coming in here did not rectify matters, but you know. While you're here, I really shouldn't be taking this cold damage, I don't... Shepard doesn't deserve it. Hold on, there's something in that car. There's a book in that car. 
I don't want the book, but I don't want the car to have goods in it when I've passed it by. Let's get inside and warm up a touch. It's time for a shepherd's uh, mid-morning nap soon. She's getting all moody. Needs to be put to bed. St. Andrew is the patron saint of Scotland. Ah, okay, thank you. I will keep that in mind next time. Well, hopefully it won't be a next time when I'm getting grilled on my uh, my nation's religions. Oh, so cold. You aren't an... Oh, you're right. I could have a new patron saint. Could What even is a patron saint? Is it just like a person that you deify? That wouldn't make any sense. There's no god but one god. I think. I don't claim to be well versed in spiritual matters. There's the thing. I'm not good at physical sciences. Not good at uh, ethereal sciences. What am I good at? I'm good at surviving games that are based in very cold places. Patron Saint gives buffs to attributes. Ah, there we go. Oh, could treat it like a prophet. Uh, a Dominion's prophet. I'm grabbing some extra firewood here is no bad thing. Oh, look, a chair that we still can't break down with a hacksaw. What in the world was Von Dougal's breaking down with a hacksaw that made him so convinced it was good on chairs? I can only assume it was those fancy chairs over in Bleak Inlet. I think I can use this. We have not used accelerant yet, but we're glad to find that, and we're very glad to find this. 25, 250 grams of salt, holy moly. Why, that's enough salt to make one cake. <laughs> oh, cup of herbal tea. Let's not forget to get the cooking bonus out of it. If you don't get that salt cake joke, then you did not watch enough of the Nancy Drew Marathon. Shame on you for that. York style. Yorkshire style pancakes. It's funny, there's a Yorkshire style pudding. The Yorkshire pudding. Uh, I actually think it's really nice. Oh, speaking of very nice, plaid shirt is, wow, worse than hoodie. That is a bad played shirt, but that is a pretty good sports vest. In general, sports vests are garbage, but I did have the slot for it, so it is strictly better than not having it. Unless weight is a colossal issue. It's always good to just fill up your, um, your clothes slots as fast as you can. Even if it's garbage, at least it's something. It's protection, it's, uh, it's warmth. It actually reduces the weight if you wear it as opposed to carrying it. I hope the rest of the stream goes well, says Geek Skin, who, uh, Geek Stin, rather, who correctly pointed out that you can get experience from reheating a pre-made cup as long as you've found it and haven't made it yourself. I need to go to bed, as it's after midnight here in Australia. I will watch the rest tomorrow. Well, you're very welcome, and good day, mate, to you too. I'm, I'm pulling your leg here. I know well you're from New Zealand, but... I have this innate urge to mock all oceanics. You have to understand. Oh, you better believe I know that jetpack. I am so excited for my super best friend. He's finally got a date where he knows he can go and enjoy some Nancy Drew. I know he's been waiting a long time for this. All right, seems like we've scoured this place fairly dry. It wasn't bad on resources. It wasn't amazing, but uh, truthfully, with the kind of luck we've had with loot, we could not ask for more. I thought that was the whole point, Marvin. I thought it did come with a release date. I strongly recall seeing a date. I don't know, too many game announcements. I can't feel my hands. I almost angrily started typing. <laughs> Got him. Uh, oh yeah, so when I was fumbling in the dark for the beds, I even had two different beds, and I think I got to this one. I didn't actually know there were two, I thought the other one was over there. Oh, okay. There's a storyline part here, if you play Winter something or other, where there's a, a priestly man looking after a lot of survivors of a crashed plane over here, and you, you drag the bodies over here, you give them supplies. It's kind of cool, but overall the story mode was just gash. That kind of stuff was good, but it just had a lot of trite cliches that made me really want to not be playing it anymore. Let's add to our little 
sculpture of tatties and carrots. Drop our river oats here as well. You might think, Jake, why are you leaving these goods out in the open instead of just putting them into a cabinet or something? There's two main reasons. One is that I will, f I will forget they're in the cabinet. Unless I spray the cabinet or something, I won't know which of them I put in. I might walk by and go, oh, there's nothing here. But secondly, a good that expires inside a container will disappear. There are some exceptions, but most of them just disappear. So as these potatoes go from... This one's at 55% condition. As it goes down and hits zero, it would despawn in there. That's bad, because I can still use it if it's gone completely foosty. But if it despawns, then I cannot. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. I'm starting to think that dragon and all these tins of tomato soup's getting a bit ridiculous. And I still don't have a tin opener. So for now, I'm just going to leave him behind. I think it said that it has moderate anti-scurvy properties. Is that right? I guess that that... Oh yeah, that's vitamin C. Moderate vitamin C in my tomato soup. I am gagging for some tomato soup in the real world, by the way. Uh, I just can't seem to find good tinned cream of tomato soup here in Hungary. Like, if it's not goulash, they don't want to know about it. Said I was going to harvest a stick out of this torch. The game updates have a habit of deleting goods in containers. Well, I've frozen my version, so that's a non-consideration, thankfully. Oh, hang on. Let me check this plastic container. Could be anything in the Tupperware. There could even be a down vest. I think that is superior to a sports vest. Uh, it is. In fact, that's even worth fixing. I'll leave this over here. <laughs> and I was saying that sports vest was a good find. Now it's just garbage. Um, I've got no good... Oh, I right, just got a pile of cleaning kits and my hacksaw over here. I should put them somewhere a bit more prominent. Not easy to do with all the clutter. One of the things promised in this Tales from the Far Territory update is safe house customization. The idea that you can finally clean away the clutter and put up some more homely things. I would quite like that. I quite like to play Long Dark for a long time. Enjoy that late game where it's really cozy. You go out, you do your days hunting, you come back, sit down with a cup of your most renewable drink and just go, ah. So being able to clean this place up would be good. This kind of place would bother me with how unkept it is. But like most things with the DLC, it is simply disappointing me with time and delivery. Right, 24, why am I so heavy and what can I drop? Is there anything that I'm particularly willing to drop? I don't want this nasty old toque. I was torn on these fleece mittens. How are my current gloves doing? Eh, current situation is sufficient enough. I think I'll just drop them. Yeah, I can always make more with my glut of cloth. Besides, I think they will survive the journey I'm about to make. I don't need you either. Mm, I don't need yet more painkillers. Otherwise, I think I found, yeah, this book on Wilderness Kitchen. Certainly don't need that. It's a book. Counts as a burnable. Get out of here. I'll keep the sewing premiere, like I said. The one thing that I do value reading a little bit of. Alright, are we good to go? I feel like I'm a bit heavier than I should be, but I think that'll turn around when I eventually go for well-fed, and certainly when I go for... Oh, shouldn't have drank. I should have eaten first. Maybe we'll just bang up one of these dusty dog food things. I wanted to wait until I found a can opener, but uh, the can opener is just not forthcoming. Wait, this was a mistake. You almost always find a can opener over in Thompson Farm. Damn. That's 27% of that thing's capacity just lost for no good reason. Right, I'm going to take a very short nap here, and then I'm going to walk over to the farm. That means I'm not coming back here for a while. Am I sure about what I'm leaving behind? Well, not really, but who can ever be truly sure? Let us take two hours of kit and then get moving. And so the wolves are so good at startling you, the rest of the game is so relaxing. Yeah, just imagine what this game is like if you play it on Pilgrim or... If you want the difficulty of the resources but you don't want the hostile wildlife, there is a setting in the difficulty settings called Passive Wildlife. And then you can just appreciate the wolves, they won't aggro you unless you start poking at them. It's kind of like playing peaceful mode on Factorio. Alright, it's, it's actually surprisingly cold, given that it's late in the day. But we want to make our way over to the farmstead. I really feel like I left something behind that I shouldn't have, but we're already moving, so let's go. 
Big boon over here is a real windfall of birch bark. Do like me some birch bark. It's a great enabler for heating and healing. It's even renewable calories. I love birch bark. It would have been it would have added to the difficulty to disable birch bark. I acknowledge that wholeheartedly. But I like birch bark, so I'm leaving it in. Believe it or not, I don't only play games that just rake me over the hot coals. I can't think of many easy games that I play. Lots of games I play, I just stick them onto hardest mode, because stress can be very fulfilling. I don't lead a stressful life in general. I lead a very happy, if somewhat spartan life out here in semi-rural Hungary, and I'm very happy with that. God knows what my life could have been if I'd stayed in Sweden. Stayed with Paradox. Hey, I just I just heard that uh, Matthias, Matthias Lilia is now the deputy CEO for Paradox. Good for him. He was a hard ass, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in a Swedes need a tard wrangler kind of way. He was a great guy. So I'm very happy to hear that he's doing well. And well, so Paradox certainly needs some good leadership. I mean, Wester's there. Wester's an excellent guy. I've hung out with Wester plenty of times, even outside of work. It's just so nice when there's someone who's rich, but also down to earth. Because, you know, you can have a proper chat with them, and they'll also buy the drinks. <laughs> and I'm sure I owe Wester quite a few drinks. I'll get it next time, don't you worry. Hey, Wester, we should order this whiskey. Ah, don't worry about the price. <laughs> I know you're good for it. You worked at Paradox, says Brick Eater? God, yeah, I worked there for five years. I was the game director on EU4. Prior to that, I worked as a designer for it, and even as a QA for it. Good times. Right, I'm tempted... Gotta warm up somehow. I had to think about myself. Uh, I was tempted to make my way over there for the birch bark, but I am getting kind of cold. No mag lens. If I'd gone towards um, Mystery Lake instead of heading over here towards Pleasant Valley, I could have gotten the magnifying lens, and that would be a godsend on a day like this, because I'd be able to start a fire for free. Now, you might think, Jake, you have about 300 matches. Why would you be such a skint flint on spending them? And I don't have a satisfactory answer to that. If anything, except the fact that I am a Scot. Being a niggard is in the blood. We do not give when we could not give. Oh, yeah. so Unless it's giving you a kick in the face. Do that for free. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe we'd charge you for it. We'd charge somebody for it. Anyway, this, the... Um, the cliché about Scots being grippet is very true, and I do embody that plentifully. Little soda, my name on it, excellent. Starving Shepherd, also not a problem. I really, really want a lantern, though. The dark innards normally isn't a problem, because at this point I have about 15,000 torches and I chain the fires, but since we are not carrying loads of torches and are unable to simply fetch fires out of fire barrels and the like... Oh, hello! Well, complain about lack of torches? Game just says, here, have a torch. I'm glad to see that mod where I speak and the game reacts is working perfectly. Did you emigrate to dodge your drink bills? No, no, no. In fact, emigration has only caused a new influx of bills. His Majesty's revenue and customs are on to me from Britain. And they are proving difficult to shake. Now, hold on, hold on. Every time I've come here, I've found a stim and gone, Oh, what luck, there's a stim. So I'm starting to think that there's a guaranteed stim here. I'm not going to take this whetstone, but I'll leave it more prominently up here. Not always inside that truck, though. Sometimes it's a little bit upstairsy. Why would the Brits shake down a sweet? Oh, that's what I want to know. Um, I got flagged for not returning a self-assessment tax return in 2020. Now, given that I emigrated in 2015, or 14, I forget which, uh, and I even sent in the paperwork. I bet most people don't even do that, but yeah, I sent in, I believe it's a P80 something or other. Hey, third stim. 
you you just want to hold on to those. The only reason to use a stim is if you're in a dire situation or if you're really going to benefit from climbing a rope very quickly. Which we could, going for the gold mine, but I won't. Uh, anyway, um, not only was I flagged for tax return that I shouldn't have done as an emigrant, I was also flagged as a wealthy business. My business ain't wealthy, and it certainly isn't in the UK, so I have no idea where that came from. I'm looking forward to an explanation. Uh, I should be able to get an explanation in a week or two, whenever Magyar Posta eventually delivers my priority letter to His Majesty's Revenue and Customs. I like living in Hungary, but I gotta admit, the national institutions here are garbage. I was actually given this warning when I moved here. Jake, you're probably going to love Hungary, but let me tell you, anything that involves the government, you're going to hate. And they have not been wrong, so I just do my best to not involve myself there. Right, so although we don't have a sleeping bag and we're cold as sin and tired, I can use a vehicle like this. I'm trying to mix up my life blogging with game blogging here. Uh, it's already getting a bit late, but I don't want to go out when I'm so cold, so we're gonna have a wee drink. Ooh, well, actually, I could forgo all that and have a cup of coffee instead. I won't, though. Instead, I'm gonna chow down on this nasty old granola bar, have a drink and have a nap. Isn't that true everywhere? It's not true in Sweden. In Sweden, if the government is involved, you're gonna have a really good time. Swedes have a very high level of faith in their government, and it's not unwarranted. Yes, the taxes are obscenely high in Sweden, but you get a lot for it. Quality of life in Sweden is very high. I mean, that's great if you want to raise a family or just kind of zone out or be Swedish, but I don't want to be any of those things. Didn't feel like you could have a good adventure living in Sweden. But Hungary, oh boy, love it here. Right. Oh, bollocks. Um, suddenly not feeling so right. Change of plan. I'm going to have to rewatch my VOD for when I set this up, because I'm fairly certain, although I did set blizzards to very frequent, I'm also quite certain I set the where, uh, weather variability to low. The game is having great fun at my expense here, showering me in unpleasantries. I wouldn't generally have a problem just going to my destination, but because Pleasant Valley is such a big open area between here and the farmhouse, this is just a barn, the farmhouse is over to the... Let me get a mental image in my head here. And it is mental, I'm not uh, I'm not grabbing my maps here. No siree. It's over to the west from, uh, from this location, but I don't trust myself to go directly west, because you could be about 10 meters from the house and not see it because of the blizzard. What I'm getting at here is that we're going to periodically sleep until the blizzard passes. And that hungry is like, but we have America. No, 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 life here is nothing like being in America. I would uh, never consider moving to America. I feel like life is too cheap there. As I, I mean, your life is cheap. You are not going to be looked after there. But this is only based on visits. I've only visited America uh, eight or nine or ten times. Haven't been keeping count, and never for very long. Longest I've been there is three weeks. And uh, to make matters even worse, I've only been to Florida and California. And I'm told that those are two very exceptional states, in literal sense. They are unlike the others. Doesn't change the fact that I don't want don't to live there. Seems like an unpleasant place I to live. Eat soon. Lovely to visit, don't want to stay. Okay, I, I'm quite close to using a match or a torch here just to figure out how to get back inside the vehicle because I can't find it now. Ah, here we go. All right, Shepard, let's continue to scoff down on, geez, I don't know, eat a cattail or something. I still have memories of all the times Hungary stabbed you in the back in EU and you think I don't? But that's okay, it just makes the ple uh, present situation extra humorous to me. Try a nice place instead, or toss Texas in there for some interesting... Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying out Texas. Oh, it's so hard to get my bearings once I leave here. I think I can use that tiny little barely lit up window to navigate. I just want the blizzard outside to stop. It has maybe technically stopped, but it's still incredibly unpleasant outside, so... 
Back in we go. We should be very grateful for the fact that it's warm enough in here. If we'd just been starting out, in fact we did this in a weekly one shot where we had to do the birch bark tea challenge. Um, this barn is a bit of a death trap because it's often barely not warm enough. But if you go inside this vehicle and sleep, you can usually just overcome the temperature stuff. Feel free to come on down then, Jake. Texas has a lot to offer. Yeah, if I cut Alaska in half, it'll be the third biggest state. I'll keep that in mind, though. I mean, like I said, I do... I do like to visit. And who knows? Maybe I land in Texas and go, I've been wrong all my life. I want to move here now. I want to live king of the hill. Oh god, I've gone and gotten lost. I know this must be super engaging, fumbling around in the dark on stream. It is incredibly frustrating. But when you're this good, you can overcome it. Sweet Jesus, I think the low temperature variability is working against me here. Who would have thought? It's really grim out there. I just gotta shuffle between... This is a shame because I wanted to spend the evening in a farmhouse have a restful night in the farmhouse. But at this rate, that's not happening. Not at all. And I'm getting really hungry. Let's eat our crisps. Let's half eat our crisps. We can we can save half the bag for later. Austin is crawling with streamers and getting gentrified fast. <sighs> Well, as long as I'm not in California, I'm bound to have a good time in America. California, but specifically San Francisco, wasn't just a very negative experience. I think it's the worst place I've ever been in the world. Not that I tend to travel around crap holes very often, but it left a very strong negative impression on me. I hate San Francisco, and I would never willingly step foot in there again. The only... Oh, Jesus. Okay, right. This could get very bad. Maybe I should just wait out the night. Yeah, too, too many risks associated with moving around right now. I think I just repositioned myself here. Where, where's that vehicle now? Is it in the same place, or is this a different door? I, I think this is a different door that I came in from now. Oh boy, just making life harder for myself. Where is that vehicle? What am I tripping over here? It's mostly Californians make things worst when they... What? It's mostly the Californians that are making things worst when they're here. Ah, here being Austin, I assume. Unless you were just talking about Austin and not being there, but yeah. Screw California. Screw Californians. I don't care. Californians are the largest group of Americans that watch my stream. Based on state. But if I, if I could just push a button and... Uh, well, okay. maybe the, Let's not go down that road. Some people might take it a little too close to heart. They are Californians after all. Alright, this ain't working for me. I need to enter from the other way. I mean, I could just spend... Ah, oh, screw it. Let's, let's put ourselves out of our misery. One match. I will spend... One match, so that I can navigate my way over to here. Get in the vehicle. Actually, I don't want to be in this side. Enter the passenger seat. And there we go. Wouldn't be a not terrible idea to actually start a fire, but... Mm, yeah, my calorie situation is not amazing. Guess I'll eat the rest of my crisps. LOL, California is great, except for the people aspect. <laughs> well, maybe it's what the people have also built there. Anyway, anyway, I could harp on all day about California, but I've got a game to survive here. Let's have another couple hours kip. Okay, Aurora, that makes things a bit more interesting. I could hear the Aurora before I saw the Aurora. That means Aurora Wolves, but it also means that it's almost certainly clear outside. I don't think it ever snows during an Aurora, although it can be very windy. Might try my luck anyway. It's going to be cold. Cold as balls, but... 
Very clear, very easy to see. Oh god, Aurora Bear! <laughs> May I see it? This comes with obscene risk. No, you know what? There is such thing as killing yourself, and that is not what I'm engaging in right now. Oh god, how do I get in? Whew, okay, that bear got on his hard hind legs. He was ready to Aurora Bear remove me from the mortal plane. <sighs> yeah, maybe I'm maybe I'm not gonna underestimate the amount of wild animals you get on this mode. Puts me in a bit of a difficult situation. I don't like eating my salty crackers if I can avoid it. Should I just starve instead? I think no. I'm going to be here for a while. Might as well just eat them up. They're there to be eaten. Lord Barrington smells your trousers. I even left him some spare trousers. Why is he still coming for me? Drink these soda as well. Alright, so it's not ideal and I'm certainly wasting time. And although it looks like I have plenty of supplies, well, I've just gone and eaten all my food. Remember when I had more food than I knew what to do with? I don't. Let's just drink up and sit in this uh, vehicle and basically wet ourselves over the idea of all those hostile animals outside. And hopefully when night vanquishes and the day arrives, or rather is vanquished, we'll have a nice clear shot over to the farmhouse. The farmhouse is amazing, by the way. The farmhouse is really good. Lots of supplies, very safe, very warm. Usually has a pry bar. All right, all right, that's that's enough. Just waiting around. Let's now sleep for a few hours. The starving shepherd thinks so much of food. I'm thinking about food myself as well. Fortunately, I did some shopping down at the market this morning, so I should be good in that regard. I got some prosciutto ham. Is that how you say it? I always forget how I meant to say that word, but mm mm, I do love some good cold cuts. All right, all right. Conditions are a little worse, but you know what? It's not going to have Aurora bears charging me. I don't know if Aurora dam uh, Aurora animals do extra damage, but I wouldn't be surprised if they do. Oh, Christ on a bike. We could eat anything. There we go. Keep marine flare rather than regular flare. Regular flare lasts longer, and that's a good reason to preserve it over the marine flare. Since I have no plans on encountering timber wolves anytime soon, the the uh, marine flare's extra ability to scare them doesn't hold any real value to me. Am I going the right way? Yeah, let's just assume I am. I think I can see the silo in the distance. But we are going to get quite cold on this journey. That's alright though, I'm confident in the farmhouse. Farmhouse will have plenty of supplies for me. Is it really prosciutto? Did I, I don't know, I, I would trust an Italian on this. Does it really do? And this is where we discover Baron's 136th Italian heritage. Not Italian, but yes. I'd still trust the Italians on it. That was a very close sounding wolf. Hay bales bring back fun childhood memories. Mostly of losing my boots in them. Wolves, wolves, wolves. <laughs> Come on, Shepard. Can't believe you're freezing cold already. I want to check out the farmhouse, double back for the birch bark bonanza, and then that wolf really wants my guts for garters. I don't even have any guts on me. Surrounded by snow. Nothing to drink. Sorry, Shepard, you got a few drops left in you. See wow! God, they're getting close. Generally, you are safe if you just walk the dog like this. Proceed forward, keep the wolf behind you, do not antagonize him by aiming a weapon at him. Generally, you'll be safe, and things get a lot safer when you put um, things like big rocks between you and the wolf. However, sometimes they will still charge you, and you always need that backup plan. My backup plan is in my right hand right here. Still wants a piece of me. There's a corpse over there, but I want to interact with it. Uh, some stuff I want to check outside, but I'm cold and chased and about to 
start taking hydration damage as well. But well worth it for a pry bar, not for a car battery. Absolutely well worth it for a pry bar. That was an excellent decision. Now let's get inside. Oh, and there we go. We're actually warm here. This counts as kind of indoors. It's indoors, but not with a, um, a loading screen. Let's keep ourselves slightly hydrated. Just on the wee sips. Good afternoon, says Halley Doodle. Love your TLD streams. Glad to catch one live. What are the rules for today's challenge? I got no problem repeating the rules. After all, we usually say them at the start and then take it for granted that people aren't around for it. Uh, the goal is to cook up a very large meal, 4,000 plus calories, uh, as chosen by, well, anyone that submits me a good menu, and put one in each location on the map. So. I think somebody submitted me something that's a lot of pancake meals up in one location. Somebody might say, I want uh, I want a chocolate bar and some bannocks and some oatmeal and uh, hunter's pie over in Bleak Inlet. So we've got to do that. On top of that, we're playing with very difficult uh, difficulty. You wouldn't think so, given that we are now... I think we have found almost 100 matches so far, if not more. Uh, but... That aside, the difficulty settings are very high. We recover very little health. We lose our uh, our gauges here extremely quickly. Resources are all set to as low as they can be, even lower than interloper. He says, grabbing a huge bundle of salt and flour and all sorts. And a pot, at long last, a pot. It's not an enabler, but it's very nice to have. So I'm very happy to get a pot. I'm very tempted to make a lot of stuff here. Yes, stuff. I know. Great description. Uh, water and cooking up a carcass. Basically, I might spend the day here. It doesn't seem unreasonable, but Shepard is very hungry. Could do with a lot of stuff. Let's grab the toilet water. The DoorDash challenge. I'm guessing DoorDash is like uh, Uber Eats or Walt. I wonder how much that costs across the place. I'll re I'll re yeah, always regard it as quite cheap here. Delivery is like one or two euros. Not that I make much use of it, but every now and then I really want some sushi and it's more convenient to have it brought to me than bring me to it. They rarely charge you if they see you in full condition unless you have three of stench. Uh, they're charging me from a very long distance because we up the amount that they can notice you by, and we've made passive wildlife more skittish. Pulling a nine cloth, I'm actually going to tear another three bits of cloth off of the curtains here. And I'm doing it while I'm starving, that way I don't spend any calories, because I've got none to spend. Ooh, gloves. Man, I could use a drink. Unfortunately, they are worse, question mark. I'm going to hold on to them. They should end up being more durable. Eventually my rag tags are going to fall apart, so I'll just re-harvest them and replace them with the driving gloves, but ideally I get something nicer. Crisps are nice. Firewood is nice. Energy socket doesn't work. Granola bar. A book. Don't need it, though. I've got plenty of books for burning. And that's all they're there for. Ooh, maple syrup. Difficult, because maple syrup, if you just drink... Yes! Can opener! Oh, that's nice. Finally, I can open up canned things without just smashing them and losing half of their uh, half of their things. I, I was talking about something just before that, and I forgot what it was. Probably not important. Like I said, this is an excellent location for finding goods, even on Interloper. Shouldn't have been talking about all this food. I, I really want to get some food now. I've been going for four and a half hours. I could well grab some lunch. Actually, I, th I think I will do that. Once we once we loot this place dry, Jake's going to grab some lunch, but that won't be the end of it. I'm going to come back and slay some spires. Actually, I'll probably get slayed by spires. But I do feel a bit of the need to be forced to play as that crappy robot and die quickly so I can play as someone else. And if I want to, I shall. I'm in no hurry over this long dark run. This long dark run is going to take a long time. 
In addition to everything else, we're going to need cooking level 5 to be able to cook everything, and we're going to need to scour the world in order to get all the goods. Ooh, sports socks, they are terrible, but there's still a tiny bit of warmth, so I will wear them. So yes, this long dark run is going to be around on the channel for a while to come, and the question always comes in, and I don't know why it does, almost everything I do goes on YouTube, but yes, it'll go to YouTube. It's not called the short dark. The brisk dimness. The short-lived dusk. No, it's the long dark. There's a guy out there doing a 500-day run. His name's Zack something or other, a Norwegian. Very knowledgeable about the game. Better player than me, that's for sure, but most long-term, long-dark players are. It's the curse of being a variety school. Ho, 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 another ski jacket! That's right, we can wear both. Wearing four layers on top. A hoodie, a sweater, a ski jacket, and another ski jacket. Well, there's probably plenty of space for all that padding, given that we are a weak, malnourished, skinny malinx Canadian here. Mm, you know what? I have one tin of maple syrup still in my kitchen from a generous donation from a beloved Canadian viewer. It is the last of half a dozen that they sent me. And I should really think up a very nice recipe to use that in. Because, you know, it's not doing me any favours just sitting there. I need to eat it eventually, but I, I don't want to waste it. What I often used to do was I would mix uh, that Canadian maple syrup in with my oatmeal, because I love porridge. It was nicer than honey. But that doesn't seem special enough. need to figure out something to do with it. Must be hard to move and all that. Yeah, well, it's harder to move still if you're frozen solid. Right now. I'm not taking spray paint. Actually, I will remove the spray paint just to not have it sitting in there. Completely unnecessary. Could have just left it in there and ignored it, but you know how it is. Always thinking about the future. Alright, we still need to go and check out downstairs. I found some decent enough food. I got no problem eating all this, but I would. I'm actually very tempted to go out and harvest one of the corpses. Grab the corpse, take the meat, turn that meat into goodies. Generally, it's better to eat meat ahead of anything else, because meat is forever, but you'll never find an unlimited amount of candy bars. Uh, that might not be true. I don't know if candy bars can spawn on any of the. Hang on, I forgot to highlight my bar there, my pry bar. I don't know if you can find beachcombed candy bars. It's possible. I mean, you, you can beachcomb empty containers and backpacks, and those can spawn almost anything, so I guess it's possible. I guess the throughput of them will still be finite. Yet another sewing kit, alright. Maple syrup, bananas, cinnamon, porridge. Every day for the past 12 years. Not quite every day. These days I prefer to have uh, homemade muesli in, um, in Greek yogurt. Usually the Greek yogurt's mixed with a bit of honey. So three spoonfuls of... Uh, I'll take what we see here. Three teaspoon, uh, three tablespoons of Greek yogurt, teaspoon of honey, heaped, and then 80 grams of a mix of dried fruits, flax, and oats. Sometimes I put nuts in there, but yeah, I prefer not to have nuts. What's the rarest item in the long dark? Uh, peanut butter, probably? You can find one bit of peanut butter in the... Yeah, more sports socks are garbage. In the uh, Aurora Mine at Coastal Highway. Very dangerous place to be. Probably won't be going there on this run because why risk it? It's just full of wires that are going to kill you and you can end up stuck inside there. Yeah, no, I never want to go back in there. And it's not prominent enough, so I'm not leaving a meal there. A meal has to be left outside. Might be some stuff that I'm missing here. It's, it's dark. It's a lot easier to see down here with a, a lantern, but I don't want to waste a, one of my precious, very precious matches lighting a fire. So that's all I have to do. All right, very good. 
Okay, we're going to call it there for now on this long dark run. Excellent start, I must say. I expected I'd be paying a lot more of my early condition, but we had a really clinical run through when we started out in Desolation Point. So we started out kind of in the mine area of Desolation Point, uh, got some immediate shelter over at the Lighthouse, made our way over to the Riker, got some very lucky matches on a corpse, went up to Hibernia, got their matches, scoured the area, got plenty of fish, worked our way out along through Crumbling Highway, Coastal Highway, good finds there, check both the houses on the islands, and then we made the call between going towards Mystery Lake or Pleasant Valley, both had very good reasons, but Pleasant Valley because we're heading towards Ash Canyon for the plus five kilogram backpack, which is a huge find. We're going to continue on that way and not forget that our goal is to make a big meal for all of these locations. I say all. Eh, ravine and Crumbling Highway? Maybe. No good reason not to. But we'll be in it for a long haul. Me, I'm going to take a short break for some lunch. Maybe catch up on a few things and then come back with some slaying of the spire. So until I'm back with those... Well, I'm not going to be back with my lunch, but until I'm back with some slay the spire, it's a cheers and cheerio.